See? I'm doing it. We're doing it. We are doing it. See, look, I even changed my icon. I am ready. Oh, you all, you all should have seen me when I was like switching to the PS4 to download this game, to like purchase it and download it. Wait, is there an update? It didn't finish downloading? You gotta be kidding me. Why didn't it finish? <laughs> you have gotta be kidding me! Wait, there's an error? Why? Oh, you gotta... When did they release that? They were... Oh! <laughs> no, 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 I did check it. Okay, last night. Was it last night? It was last night. I bought the game. I swear, I bought the game. There was no PS4 software update. And... <laughs> and I put it into sleep mode once I saw the downloads were going. But literally, literally, preparation. How was I supposed to know they were going to release a PS4 software update? What is that bullshit? Bear with me. We got to do this first. <laughs> oh my god. No, I, I thought it would download. This is the first time that PS4 released a software system update in the middle of me downloading a game. Can we get the theme while you do break? Wait, what theme? The, the, the Last of Us theme? I haven't put it on yet. Oh, you're crying. Just trying to get my PS4 to do things. Ah. Oh, man. Anyway... <laughs> For the love of what? What's up? What's up? Oh, we should probably switch switch my stuff. Let me see. Dashboard. The unconscious mind at work. Back to Fade Isle. No. We're going to The Last of Us Part 2. We got this. Oh, time for feels. Time for feels and stuff and things. And zombies and things. First play, blind. F By the way, we're gonna turn on um, we're gonna turn on three hour plus follower mode as a heads up. Which my mods can go ahead and turn that on for the rest of the stream. Blind playthrough. No back seating. No spoilers. All right. Here we go. That should have gone. Yeah, we're gonna go to at least follower mode. We were discussing this. We were indeed. Oh, did I not change the, whoops, I didn't change the, <laughs> I didn't change the, the, the directory, hold on. <laughs> I updated the title, but I didn't change the directory. Bear with me. Let me reload my dashboard. This is fine. All right. The last I'm typing of us part two. There we go. Update. I think that should work. All right, where am I at? She's not crying because of the update. She's crying because she misses ACNH. No, I don't. I'm laughing too hard. I didn't expect it to be an error in the game. So we're going to have to finish downloading the game first. By the way. Because, you know, I'm very smart. And no, I didn't check it again this morning, Hotshot. That would have been the smart thing to do. Wait. Did it finish downloading? Oh. <gasps> Did it download? Oh. No. Wait. Are <laughs> you? No. What? It's that far behind? You have got to be kidding me. No. Wow. I thought it was a lot further than this. I 
blame PlayStation. I fucking blame PlayStation. Because last night, there was no prompt when I got on my PS4 to go to the store to buy the game and download it. It started downloading. There was no prompt to update shit. What is this bullshit? I need faster internet? Yeah, I don't know why it's downloading so slow. It's connected on e Ethernet cable. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'll go faster if we put the, the PS4 to sleep. No, I'm not celebrating. I swear. <laughs> God damn it. Make sure you didn't open the game on accident. No, I didn't. See, it says start. Oh. I swear I didn't do this. I'm crying. Oh. I'm actually a little, I'm a little miffed actually. I'm a little miffed right now. I was literally ready to play this. And it's not even done downloading. Can I show the theme again with Ellie? Yeah, there's actually, there was actually the pre-order theme, right? <laughs> God damn it. What do we do? What do we do, folks? What do we do? So this is the theme you get. This is this theme here that I've selected. Is the one you get when you um when you get the digital deluxe edition. Oh, that's pretty cool. I haven't even looked at it. Things usually go slow on the PS4 because something is running. I don't think anything's running. This is pretty. <laughs> what do I do? I guess... No, no, no. This was not accidentally on purpose. Calesta. It was not. I was so ready to play this. <sighs> oh, no catch. It's because many people are downloading it from the other end. And that's why. That's why it's downloading so slow. Happy summer, I guess. Happy summer! Spock, thank you for 58 months! I appreciate that. Well, I guess we have to go back to Animal Crossing because I thought I downloaded it last night, but PlayStation decided to have a system update. That is totally not my fault! <sighs> Let's watch the download in solidarity. That's the closest we'll get to The Last of Us 2. Yeah, this theme is really cool. The other theme that you got from, um, from Outbreak Day last year is this one. Which I think is still around. Pause the download, resume it. Sometimes it kickstarts it. Okay. We did just have a system update. But yeah, this is the other theme. The other one's a lot prettier, though. I think the other one's a lot prettier. Isn't it? Would rebooting do anything? Like rebooting the PS4? Maybe? Spock! My best lucky find of the day. I found a lemon slash pepper shaker at the dollar store. I bought like four of them DV catch shy. How do you, how do you pause? I don't know how to pause it. This is confusing. 
I don't think there's a way to pause it. Options? I don't see anything though. It just has delete. <laughs> but Spock, thank you for the 300 biddies! A lemon pepper shaker at the dollar store. You bought four of them. Hell yeah! Try X. Oh, here we go. Pause. Start. Oh, whoops. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no. This game. I paused it and then I started the game. <laughs> How do I go back? Go back. Okay. Cool. Close. I forgot how to play this game. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to use a PS4 anymore. <laughs> Ugh. Pause. All right, it's paused. Resume. <laughs> Is it gonna speed up if we do this? I think the hours are just going up now. Damn it! I just wanted to play this game! <clears throat> the painting one is a treat to watch for breaks, yeah. <sighs> Powerful contacts at PlayStation confirmed. Can ask them to do an update tab of my choosing. I had no idea. Hey, we're down to three hours left. Do you think it's going faster? <laughs> what? What do we do? Playing Animal Crossing made me forget how to use my fingers. No, seriously. You should have seen when I was trying to log on last night to download and buy and download this. I literally kept like hitting X or hitting circle. Like I would hit the PlayStation button to pick a user to log in and then I would hit circle instead of X because I thought I'm so used to A, you know? And so I would keep going back and this forth between um, press the PlayStation button and pick a user. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It's fluctuating? <clears throat> Is it? I'm on wired. It's wired batch. I don't know why it's it's not downloading fully <laughs> at high speeds. Good night, socks. Sweet dreams. Thanks for being here. Lemon pepper fries are so good. They sound good. <clears throat> um, looks like you can play some of it. Yeah, up to a certain point. Will it download slower if we're running the game, though? But yeah, it's Ethernet plugged Keep in. Keep on keeping on. <clears throat> this is exciting. It's like back on dial-up watching percent and times jumping up and down. I can't believe it. It'll download slower. Googling to see how far in you can play. Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Maybe we can watch The Last of Us 2 for a few minutes. I, I, I am miffed that I didn't check it this morning. I should have checked it this morning. Why didn't I check it this morning? Then I could have downloaded Boy, it during there. today's stream while the PS4 was sleeping. <laughs> Gooey, happy 51 months. Hello there. I didn't realize that the download didn't complete last night, Gooey. This is why we're here. Uh, thank you, though. For the 51 months, you unload party modes for yourself and others in chat. We were trying to switch to The Last of Us Part 2, but... This may have to be next week. Uh, now you're good for Zoki. Yeah, it's a little funny at the same time. This is one of those moments of, like... It's so ridiculous, it's funny. <laughs> uh, gonna go pee. If you can't play this, then your punishment should be playing Pokemon. That's not punishment, though. Because I enjoy Pokemon, too. <clears throat> Give it a reboot if it doesn't speed up. I don't think it's speeding up. So, like, pause this and then completely shut it down. <laughs> You're gonna go ahead and climb into bed. Yeah, sorry, Bowsers. <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen. But good night. Sweet dreams, Bowsers. Sorry that it didn't work out. <clears throat> You're back from washing the dishes, Arlene. Welcome back. What happened? The I didn't realize the download for The Last of Us Part 2 didn't finish last night because there was a system update and it stopped downloading. Which kind of sucks. <clears throat> 
Because <clears throat> I didn't realize, because I didn't check it this morning either. And here we are. Do I have proof that I didn't check it this morning? Yeah, I didn't turn on the PS4 at all. We started stream at 9 a.m. my time. I didn't have time to check the PS4. We should make her sit here and watch the download. Well, we should, we should pause this. All right, and then completely restart. Power options, turn off. Oh, is it turn off or restart? Restart, maybe. Brazoki redeemed Snowy Doodle! Let me know in chat what you want me to doodle, Brazoki. It doesn't matter. Let's do a restart. Just let me know, and we'll uh, work on it. You don't know why you thought you couldn't handle watching my playthrough of The Last of Us Part 2. This is hilarious so far. God damn it. I just, I just wanted to play I legit wanted to play the game. I didn't think it was, you know, unfinished. Damn it. That's a loud vehicle. Did y'all hear that? PlayStation's all, if Pocket can't play, nobody can. Told them to stop doing that, but they never listen. <laughs> oh. Can't believe this. Oh, that sounded like a hype train. Vroom, vroom. All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> if this is The Last of Us Part 2, you're happy to report the leaks are all wrong. God damn it. Okay. Come on. Does it just not want to download now? Oh, there it goes. Why are there so many loud vehicles tonight? The fuck? I think it's still the same. I think no cash is right. I think it's the servers that they're letting people download this game from are just really bogged down right now. And because everybody's downloading this game. You know? Please draw blue roses. A, C, and H for reference. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Let me do that after the break because we need to take a break. Uh, Brizoki. Remind me when we get back. <sighs> Intense gameplay. Thanks. I didn't realize the download wasn't in. Just run it, see how far I can get. Oh, did you, did Google tell you how far you could go in that first part? Let us look at the painting while you're gone. Yeah, we can do that. You blew it! <laughs> we can do that. All right. <laughs> Google didn't tell, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I've never actually started a game before the download finished before. Airhead! Thank you! What? 35 months. Woot woot snowy love. 35 months! Thank you, Airhead, for nearly three years! Holy shit! Continue to enjoy your sub perks, those emotes, and thank you for nearly three years. We're done adding time to our streamathon timer, but that extra support is still massively appreciated, so thank you. And you unlock pride emotes for yourself and others watching the stream. Exclamation mark pride for more information about that. But thank you. Now we know why it was always another hour to switch. There wasn't anything to switch to. No, I, I swear I had no idea it wasn't done downloading. I didn't realize there was an error last night. I legit bought it, downloaded it, put the or started the download and put the, the PS4 to sleep yesterday. <laughs> Thought it was okay. Jeter, holy shit. Thank you as well. 31 months already. Everybody get some hype in chat. 
Jeter, thank you for that tremendous continued support. You um, <clears throat> unlocked party emotes for yourself and others. And we're done adding time, but you did. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Yuna, this isn't your fault. It happens, yeah. It happens. Piper did it. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick five-minute break because we're due for a break. But uh, when we come back, I think what we'll do is, is start the game for now and see how far we can get with that first part downloaded. And maybe by the time we get to... Um, maybe by the time we go somewhere with it, we'll um, have most of the game downloaded or something. I don't know. Either way, I do want to start the game, so we're going to see. Anyways, um, five minute break here. Get up and stretch, walk around, use the restroom, get something to eat, something to drink, etc. And then we'll come back. Yeah, accidents happen. Thank you, Andu. I appreciate that. <laughs> I do find it hilarious. Ridiculous and hilarious, though. Don't worry. I'm okay. We'll make the most of this. Anyway, be right back. Enjoy the dynamic theme because it is really pretty. I'm going to get some more water. See you in five minutes, folks. BRB.
All right, we're back. I warmed up my dinner, so I'm going to eat dinner as well. <laughs> Since, you know, this happened and we need to have the whole game download fully anyway. <clears throat> anyway, thank you. Got some more water, too. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Shin. Hot shot, 46 racer. Thank you all. Oh, what I miss. Sammy, you bought the Switch for Breath of the Wild. It's so good. I love Breath of the Wild. <laughs> you still have to play and finish The Last of Us Nintendo Geek? Did you want me to summarize it? We can summarize the story again. I, I said it earlier on stream. In case you want that before we dive in. That's not bad. Just a few minutes and we're, we're up like five gigs. I think it's the three hours left. It's not actually three hours left. I think. I want to take some time to eat first. Hmm. Thank you, Cora. Thank you, Lady Alice. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you all. You're melting, Lady Alice. What's up? What's up? The Last of Us is literally the reason you bought a PS4, Linty. You bought an entire system for one game. And then you also fell in love with Uncharted and Horizon Zero Dawn. But that's besides the point. Your PS4 is just for The Last of Us. Aww. It's so good, though. Horizon Zero Dawn will be the reason for PS5. Yeah? I'm excited for the PS5. Linty, you haven't gotten to Bloodborne yet? Too many games. Yeah, Bloodborne's a good one, too. So good. That's all good. You'll discover it yourself. Just know what happens ahead of time. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Batch. Thank you, Andu. Thank you, Rastra. I'm going to take a moment to eat some uh, pork meatballs with some tzatziki sauce on top over rice and some green beans. So... It's my dinner. It's all tzatziki sauce on top. It's easier just to put it on top. Instead of like dipping the meatballs in it. It's hot and humid right now, Lady Alice. And you don't have AC. Oh no. That sucks. Does it still download while you play it? Yeah, well. So this is where we're at with the download. <laughs> that first part where it's cut is where you can start it and play it to but it's not the full game because it has to download the full game <laughs> yeah uh, the reason it didn't fully download is because last night there was a system update that interrupted the download but I didn't know because my PS4 was in sleep mode but yeah we're hoping to download as much as we can while I'm eating my dinner and then we're going to start it. Because we still have four hours. we got plenty of time to dive in. Plenty. This should be mocking her. Get on it. Do, a, uh, do you have a regular fan? Oh, that's true. You could do a regular fan. Your son's currently sleeping on the sofa. It's so bad. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. The guitar plucking is good. Nice. I should be able to play pretty far with what's downloaded. Feline. Oh, yeah? That's good to know. We were wondering, because we couldn't find it on Google, how far can you play with the starter part downloaded? So. <laughs> Since I'm eating dinner, I'm going to go ahead and do that while we wait before we dive in. Just let it download as much as we can. Sammy, me recapping the first game gave you so many feels. Yeah. You remember that, right? Just the whole opening sequence. It's pretty, pretty feelsy. The good thing is we get more time to get ahead of me. Yeah. This is like those of you watching should totally play more of The Last of Us Part 2 right now while you're listening before I start it. How to even Google how far can I play without spoilers? I don't know. I don't know what, what batch entered into Google for that. 
But he said he couldn't find anything. Gooey, you just started Animal Crossing? Oh, You're currently running around the island looking for sticks. Yes! I hope you're enjoying it. I've been playing it for nearly 50 days in a row now. And it's, uh... Suffice to say, an addiction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pick up the sticks. Is, does it go slower if we watch the download? <laughs> I mean, it's going. It's going. You know? Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Nightwing. How you doing? Welcome back. I'm currently eating dinner and waiting for more of this game to download. Because I didn't realize it didn't fully finish. So here we are. You're doing good? Nice. 1998 downloading music vibes on that progress bar. Mm-hmm. Normally it downloads a lot faster. Because our, our internet connection is not... It's not fiber. It's not like gigabit fiber, but it's like... Usually we get like 120 download megabits per second. So usually it's not that slow. And it is an ethernet connection for my PS4, but... Because I guess... Everybody's downloading it because the game just came out yesterday. The servers are pretty <clears throat> slow, I imagine. Rasta, you had your PB and J. Nice cheese pizza. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's dinner time for me. Seven, almost eight p.m. I'm gonna play some music over this music because I feel like my eating sounds are a little too loud. So. <laughs> Could it be downloading slow due to streaming? No, normally when stuff downloads, the download takes priority. And the streaming upload speed actually usually gets uh, throttled. So, I mean, we don't have any kind of setting that prioritizes that. And normally when stuff downloads, at least on the PS4, it never goes this slowly. It's probably just gas. So, either way, well, I mean, we're still going to start the game and see how far we can get in the time that we have. Honestly, it'll probably be okay. You know, you know, PlayStation servers are slow to download from. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, I would have bought the physical copy, but because I didn't get it, I didn't order it that soon or that early, I guess. I decided to go for the digital this time. So that's why. <clears throat> Sammy, apparently you're getting Gala, Bianca, and Nate. Wait, you get Nate too. I got Nate for one of my first first move-ins too. As it updates would make no difference. Wait, what? It is updates? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Honestly? Going at the pace that I do, 
when I play games, I think we'll have, we'll be okay. You ordered it early, Linty, and you're getting it late? Oh, really? The, your physical copy hasn't arrived yet? Shit. Isn't the download game updates? Oh, no, it's the rest of the game, yeah. It's the rest of the game. So we kind of need that to proceed past any certain point. I assume the game in, in, in the game will tell you when you reach the point that you can go, that the furthest point you can go before the rest of the download has to happen. I assume it'll be like, hey, error, you gotta download the rest or something. Not until the 23rd, oh shit, that sucks. Where did you order it from? Out of curiosity, Linty. Amazon. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, badge. <clears throat> and before the game intro ends, you gotta download the rest. Oh, you got it from Amazon. Hmm. With all the delays in shipping, getting it digital may be best. Yeah, that's the reason I decided to go with digital. Because I knew it would take a while for the, the physical copy to arrive. Even though I normally prefer the physical copy. You know? Mm. I'm so miffed. But it's okay. We'll start it. Because I assume when I start the game, the downloads are going to go even slower. So. It's going to suck, but we'll see what we can do. How you play games, it might be fine, yeah. I'm hoping that that first part doesn't stop, like, right after the intro. Oh, speaking of Snowy Doodle. I do that. Hi, Ursinex. You're almost at 50%. If the game lasts 25, 30 hours, you should be good. How you been? It's good to see you. I gotta draw blue roses for Brazoki. No cash. Let me know in chat what you want me to doodle. It can be a character from a TV show, video game, movie. And I have to be at least mostly familiar with it. And then I try to draw that character from memory, a very basic doodle. And then uh, we try to compare it to an actual image of the character and see how close I was. Or you can pick um, something generic, like draw a flower or draw a tree or draw a dog. You know, I can do stuff like that. Just let me know in chat. We have two doodles to do already. You thought you read an article, Rasta, that said PSN's limiting download speeds because all the people at home are downloading more. 
You might be on to something. That wouldn't be surprising, actually. <clears throat> Fade with a fedora. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Let me finish my dinner first. Oh, did we did drop some frames back. We should be smooth now, though. We dropped about 700 frames. We should be good. <clears throat> Linty, you're at almost 100,000 cakes. Do you keep saving for fate, or do you be a jerk and make me do four doodles in one day? Oh, it's a maximum of two per day, Linty. Two per stream. So they've already been claimed by Brazoki and Nolkanch, so if you click on the doodle um, icon, you won't be able to select it anymore. It should have already limited it. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's what it should be. I haven't looked at my redemptions in a while. <clears throat> Brazoki, you're helping the cause and not downloading anything from PSN. I didn't realize! Totally didn't realize. Hey, so one way, yeah. Internet, pick up those frames. Can make the rest of the stream do emote only mode. Oh, there's a limit for that too, six times per stream. So at most it'd be like 30 minutes. You'll save for fate to get fat, yeah. <clears throat> it's two per day. First auction flip is worth. Uh, made back all your money. And then some on one vehicle, a sport SUV, bought for 115K, sold for 234K, nice. Heck yeah. You wish Faye would show herself? She's been in Diz's room all day. Actually, so. Super Swag, how did I get that theme? It comes with a digital deluxe edition. No, I didn't pre-order. I bought this game yesterday. I don't think it's I don't think it's pre-ordering because I bought the game yesterday. Yeah, or was it Thursday? Actually, I might have bought it Thursday. Is it pre-order only? But yeah, I bought the digital deluxe edition, and it comes with the game. The original soundtrack and the art. We could look at the art, but I feel like that's gonna slow the download if we do. Okay, dinner is done. You pre ordered Digital Deluxe a week ago? Does anybody know if it's pre-order only or if it just comes with digital deluxe? Yeah, she doesn't want treats. I think she does. She's just really... being a butt a lot of the time. <clears throat> okay, we got a couple of doodles to do. And then... we'll start the game. And then we'll start the game. Can you see the art? I'm not going to boot it up because I'm still waiting for the game to fully download. We were going to switch over to the game if you're curious. But unfortunately I didn't realize the game didn't fully download. Due to a system update. Because I started the download, I want to say Thursday night. I think. And then once the download started, I put, I put the, um, the PS4 into sleep mode. 
thinking it would finish the rest, but then it got interrupted because it required a system update. So it never fully downloaded the whole thing, which I only found out when trying to switch to the game uh, during today's stream. <clears throat> it's unfortunate, but we are we are still gonna start the game. Just gonna go where we can with what we downloaded, essentially. So that's the plan. All right. Uh, Linty, you got a pre-order bonus, but you haven't put in the code for it. Do you think it's the theme? I actually don't know. <clears throat> All right. So I'm currently drawing um, blue roses. Hopefully, they're kind of not really, they don't look a lot like blue roses, but. Animal Crossing style blue roses. Not really, blue roses are fine. Okay, thanks, Brazoki. Just Google it. It should be getting an ammo capacity upgrade and something else in the game. You forgot. It's both in game items. Think Digital Deluxe gets you those too? Do they? I don't remember reading it. Drawing blue roses, don't mind me. Brazoki, what color would you like your username on the doodle? <clears throat> We're all in good company, yeah. Are we are all good company? Thanks, Brazoki. Are blue roses color blue or sad? Blue. Green? Okay. Well, I have to remove the chroma key for this. <clears throat> because it's gonna disappear. Can you see all my PS4 games, like in my library? So I have... <clears throat> These are what I have. Some of these I don't remember getting them. <coughs> so there you go. There you go. I'm gonna do a different shade of green. Oh, pick another, it's okay, pick black. Okay. <coughs> Or risque? How about drunk? 
Will I play The Last of Us 2 with four hours left? Yeah, I plan to start it. The reason we're not starting it yet is because the download didn't fully finish, so I'm letting it go as far as we can before I start. I have the, a couple things I need to do, like the doodles and stuff right now, so it's giving us extra download time for it. Lady Alice, thanks for the drink! They may be PS Plus games? They could be. Yeah, I got quite a few from PS Plus, actually. <clears throat> All right. They're probably PS Plus games. Some of them you have and don't remember buying them. Yeah. All right, so I was tasked to draw Blue Roses, kind of inspired by Animal Crossing. And this is my re the results. Right here. Ta-da! Blue roses! As requested by Brazoki for the snowy doodle. I, I didn't know how to do the, the other one that's supposed to face the outside. But I managed to get the others and I just kind of drew things and I, it kind of looks like roses. But there you go. So that's what I drew. Those are excellent. Thank you. Blue roses. And now we get to go back to staring at the game. Whoops, I forgot my green screen. And then I do the second doodle. And then we're just going to start the game and hope that, hope that it's enough. Fingers crossed. <clears throat> now everyone in the community has hard as hell to breed blue roses. Yeah, the blue roses are hard to, to do. It's ridiculous. Thank you, Shen. Thank you all. All right. We're gonna draw Fade now. We're gonna draw Fade. Thank you all for hanging out. I'm sorry the game didn't fully download. It's been <laughs> a little frustrating for sure. <clears throat> a little frustrating. Oh, I just realized the way I'm drawing this it's gonna look more like a, a cowboy hat than a fedora. <laughs> That's okay. It's it's basically the same. Well, not basically the same. They look similar. I think it's an easy mistake to make. Let's put her ears through the hat. We got this. Such is life. <clears throat> Are any of, any of my games CD? Like physical disc? Yeah. Quite a few of them. Figured today was a good day for a doodle no cash. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> Fades like ladies. Yeah. All right, and then she's got a purple collar. Red Dead Redemption mod, cats instead of people. <clears throat> yeah, they're both worn on the head, that's true. We'll pretend it's a fedora, because it's totally. Also requested the doodle to buy some time, yeah. I appreciate it. And those of you that might be brand new coming in and you can't chat yet and stuff, uh, the reason we're waiting is because the game didn't fully download, finish downloading, which sucks, and I didn't realize it. <clears throat> so we're kind of letting it download as much as I can before I start it, because I know you can start the first bit up to a certain point, and we're just... Uh, Seeing how far we can get with the download. All right. Perfect. <clears throat> Would never bullshit you about headgear. Yeah. 
draw on the rest there. Um, this this could have like a pink band or something. All right, I think that works. No cash. What color would you like your username on the doodle? Out of curiosity. Some things simply aren't done. I just, in all my time, because I usually, if I have to download something on the PS4, I tend to start the download and put it into rest mode, and it finishes. Unless the power goes out, which it doesn't during that, usually. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. But, I've never had issues. And then suddenly, the one time that I needed it to be downloaded. I should have checked this morning. <clears throat> but I, think tw I didn't think twice about it. Because... In the past, it's been no issue. You know? <coughs> My voice is dying. Oh! All this talking. Purple sounds good. Okay. Alright. I didn't color in fade because it's a lot of gray. Red, how much more time for the download? I know it's more than we have really... It would take up the rest of the stream, but we are going to start it because you know where that download bar has a little divide? That first part's playable. So we're going to go and see how far we can get with, with that and hope that in the time that I spend doing that part, the rest of the game will download. Hopefully. That's my hope. All right. <laughs> ah, voice is dying. Thank you, Lady Alice, for the drink. <clears throat> Damn. <clears throat> All this talking today. No Cash requested a drawing of Fade in a hat that's supposed to be a fedora, but didn't really look like a fedora when I drew it. So here it is. We have Fade sitting there with a purple fedora. Kind of works. So that's our wonderful fade baby. So effing cute. Thanks. I love drawing fade. She's a very popular doodle request. There's quite a few fades in here. Let me see. Quite a few fades. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, here's one. A fade. And... There's quite a few. Oh, there's one. Fade with bubble tea. I think it was. Fade talking into a mic. <coughs> Voice is dying. Is Fade hanging out with Diz? Yeah, she is. There's Fade and Evie. Kind of. <laughs> it's fairly convincing as a fedora. Oh, thanks. I tried. There's Fade attacking my, my five balloon that I had for the five year Twitch partner anniversary. There's a lot of fade requests. She is pretty popular. There's fade messing with the sink. There's quite a few. It was so funny when she did that IRL. Yeah, fade's pretty great. Was that your pizza? <coughs> oh, here's a couple of fade. Treats and stuff. Quite a few in here. Fade as a, a Sith. <laughs> it's pretty great. Fade wearing pants. <laughs> These are funny, aren't they? Fade is a superstar. No, it's Darth Fader, Andu. It's Darth Fader. There's Fade. 
kind of as a Pokemon. <clears throat> I think there's a lot. A lot of these were during my Pokemon phase. I can tell because they were like Pokemon inspired. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, well, there's Fate playing with yarn. What genius requested that doodle? Darth Vader? It was a uh, pious lambda. There's Fate hugging a snowman. <clears throat> oh, you're talking about Andu? Yeah. So I gotta get a new doodle book soon. This one's almost filled, believe it or not. I should probably add that to my reminders. Actually, snowy mods. Can somebody add it to my important info section to remind me to get a new doodle book? Probably best to order that now. All right, we're done with all the doodles. So it's time to go back to gameplay and hope that, you know, <laughs> that we can actually, you know, play this as far as we can get. So we're gonna start it now, officially. Thank you, Hot Shot. Thank you, Batch. Thank you both. <clears throat> I need a doodle book. All right, you all ready for this? We'll see how far we can get in the time that we have for what's, you know, downloaded. Three screens, yo, hot shot. Heck yeah. Phil, you got some ribs? You bought at the grocery store early earlier? Might have some for dinner. Oh, that sounds good. Enjoy it. Alrighty, folks. So, uh, general reminders here. This is my first playthrough ever. I don't want any spoilers. I do not want any backseating. No hints, no advice, no suggestions, none of it. Uh, you might hear me think out loud, so you might hear me go, where do I go from here? I don't understand. How do I defeat this enemy? I don't get it. Where, where's the loot? You know, I'll, I'll do stuff like that. That's called thinking out loud. They're rhetorical questions, which means they're not meant to be answered. It's just me thinking out loud. If I do need help, I will make it hella obvious, like hella obvious, that I'm asking chat, you all, directly for help. You'll hear me go, can somebody who's currently watching the stream tell me blank? Does anybody out there in the chat know blank? You know, can somebody be my Google and look this up for me? Like, I make it so obvious if I need somebody in chat to tell me. But otherwise, I do think out loud, so please no spoilers, no no answers, none of that. My mods are going to be fairly strict about it. Um, and no guessing. Even if you've never played it, don't predict what might happen. Don't be like, oh, there's going to be a zombie maybe around this corner. Like, don't do that, because that will probably also get deleted. The, the reason we get pretty strict is because if I get any hints like that, or if I get... Uh, any kind of suggestions and stuff, it's going to be a biased playthrough. And it won't really be my first playthrough anymore. It leads to a less genuine reaction from me if I know what to expect or if somebody tells me what to do. It's not me really playing the game myself, right? I want to think for myself, play for myself, and you all get to be along for the ride. That's basically what this is about. So um, for those of you that may or may not know The Last of Us Part 1, I'm going to do a quick recap because I just watched this recap yesterday. <clears throat> so it's pretty fresh in my memory. So The Last of Us Part 1 is about uh, this man named Joel, who is voice acted by Troy Baker, who you might recognize in a lot of voice acting. Uh, most recently in a game that we played that he was in, he was the, uh, what's his face? The guy who controlled all the, um, all the uh, BTs in Death Stranding that we fought later. That, that was actually motion cap Troy Baker, too. Um, but yeah, he's a very famous voice actor. Does a lot of work in video games. But he, he voice acted um, Joel, who is this man who has a daughter. It seems like he's a single father. We start out in um, The Last of Us Part 1, where um, we get to see him and his daughter, Sarah, who looks to be about 10 or 11 years old. She's pretty young. And... Um, they're just sitting on a couch, you know, having a father-daughter moment, about to watch TV. Um, she happens to remember his birthday, you know, it's really cute. And then she ends up falling asleep on the couch, 
and um, Joel puts her to sleep, like picks her up, carries her to her bedroom, puts her in bed, tucks her in, you know, that kind of thing. And then in the middle of the night, the phone rings and Sarah answers it. And it's her uncle Tommy, who is um, Joel's brother, just like frantically being all like, oh, where's your dad? I got to talk to your dad. Where is he? And there's clearly a sense of urgency in his voice. Um, and Sarah's like, oh, I don't know what's going on. What's what's up? You know, Uncle Tommy. And the line cuts off before he can explain. And things seem eerily quiet and kind of, I guess, ominous. And so Sarah ends up going to look for her dad, her look for Joel. And eventually she finds him in somewhere in the house. But um, things are a bit frantic because suddenly there's a... Uh, Somebody who who is supposed to be their next door neighbor, I forget the guy's name, at their kitchen door suddenly, like out into the, the backyard or something, just like kind of throwing himself at the door. And he looks a little crazed, doesn't seem like himself, and Joel's got his gun. He's like ready to protect Sarah, and he's like, what the hell's going on? And then their former neighbor bursts in. He's kind of infected, looks a little bit like a zombie, and tries to attack Joel, who ends up shooting him dead. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? You know, that seemed like a... They don't, they don't say zombie, but basically they're like, oh my god. And so Tommy eventually arrives um, at Joel's house. And they end up piling into a car, Tommy, Joel, and Sarah. And they're just driving out. Like, Joel apparently lived out in a more rural area, so it wasn't, like, in the proper city center. And as they're driving past roads and stuff, they see houses on fire. You know, a little things seem a little amiss, right? And then um, they approach, like, what appears to be a more uh, city-like urban area. And there's a lot of people just frantically running around. And at some point, they also end up crashing the car, and it flips. And Joel ends up getting out. And pulling out Sarah too. Tommy disappears somewhere. Not sure where he ends up going. Because I don't. I didn't watch that part of the recap. Because I was skimming through it. But um, Sarah, because of the car crash. Because the car flipped and stuff. Um, she maybe broke her leg. Or hurt her leg or foot or something. So she couldn't walk. So Joel picks her up. Scoops her up. You know. Kind of. Let, hands around the back of her legs. I can't describe things. Um, and carries her. Uh, uh, trying to find a way out amid all the chaos because there's people running around, things are on fire, there's explosions, there's frantic, infected people trying to kill other people, you know. And so um, Joel ends up stumbling down this little hill and encounters face-to-face -face with what looks like a military soldier, um, police soldier, some sort of armed individual with, like, body armor, helmet, and a gun, um, an assault rifle gun. And... Joel is like trying to explain to the to, to the officer or the soldier like, hey, we just went through hell. Please, my daughter might have a broken leg. Please help us. Right. And the 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 man, the soldier uh, radios into supposedly his higher up and asks what to do. And his higher up seems to tell him to shoot them, to kill them. He's all like. Um, we got two civilians, looks like a little girl, um, and maybe her father, and then the, the higher up tells him, we don't hear the higher up say it, but supposedly tells him to just kill them. And so Joel's all like, please, please, and then he realizes, like, last second that the soldier's about to open fire. So he tries to turn to shield Sarah, who's, you know, laying, or not laying, but he's carrying her in his arms, right? And, um... The, as a result of the, the gunshots, he ends up kind of falling because they're still on a hill. And so he kind of falls and tumbles and Sarah falls out of his arms as well. And the soldier ends up kind of standing over Joel like he's going to finish the job. But then the, the soldier gets shot by from the side by Tommy, right? Joel's brother. And Joel is like suddenly the first thing he thinks of is Sarah. And so he stumbles over to her body and finds out she got shot by the soldier. And she's like clutching her kind of the side, kind of around her stomach area, and there's blood, and the next few minutes of that scene is, is just heart-wrenching, but Joel ends up just sobbing. I was bawling on stream when I watched this. This is only the opening cinematic, but anyway, 
Um, he basically holds his dying daughter until she passes in his arms. Then you cue the opening credits and basically news flash that, oh, there's some sort of, you find out through like clips of news articles and things through the little stylized opening that there was um, essentially what seems to be a fungus that would infect human brains, make them lose control, and essentially have them turn into what we would call zombies. Um, and they would, they're just really dangerous, bloodthirsty, dangerous, etc. And... Um, then we got, we dive into the story and we, we find out 20 years has passed since those events and Joel is a lone survivor just trying to make a living. Um, he works with this woman named Marlene who works with the Fireflies, who is a kind of rogue group of people that, I don't really know what they do, but they're, they're like a survival group or something. And, um, he ends up being asked by Marlene to transport a very important package to the Fireflies. And that package turns out to be a teenage daughter, or not daughter, wow, a teenage girl named Ellie. Um, and Ellie is, uh, I would say she, would, she was older than Sarah was. I would say Ellie was more like around 13 or 14. But anyway... Um, Ellie turns out to be pretty badass and fights for herself, but she is still very young. And throughout the next to the rest of the game, they end up, Joel and Ellie go through a bunch of, uh, adventure, I guess, fighting off the infected and trying to make their way to where they need to go. Um, they meet a few NPCs along the way. Some of them die, etc. I don't know if they're necessarily super important to mention, and then eventually they find out they got to go to this university in Colorado um, that supposedly would have where the fireflies would be. So they get there and they find it abandoned and they, they end up realizing they need to go to Utah um, because that's where they relocated the fireflies. So um, as a result, they start to make their way, but they get ambushed by um, some patrol people, just people patrolling and Joel gets severely wounded. And Ellie ends up having to take care of him um, through even through the winter months. You you end up playing as Ellie for a little bit, and there's snow and everything. So, um, but yeah, Joe is, is eventually kind of uh, he recovers, um, and then they make it to um, Utah. Uh, let me rewind a little bit because I always forget this part. But before they ever get to um, Utah, before they ever get to I think it's before they even get to Colorado. Um, Joel finds out that the reason Ellie is so important is because she was bitten by the infected, but she never turned. And so there's this suspicion that she is immune to it, and thus she might have a huge part in creating a cure for this uh, fungal virus. And so uh, that's the reason she's so important. Anyway, so they get to Utah, and uh, they take Ellie in, and the Fireflies and everybody ends up telling Joel that what they're going to do to work on this cure for this fungal virus is take out the infected part of Ellie's brain, which would kill her. And of course, Joel, by this point, because it's the end of the game, Joel has developed a really strong uh, connection to Ellie, especially because he lost his daughter, Sarah. So um, Ellie and Joel... They don't quite have the same relationship that Sarah had with Joel, but uh, like they had their arguments, you know, here and there. And she's she's very headstrong, and uh, especially for being so young, she's very headstrong. She all that good stuff. But Joel still has a very protective um, way of treating her, and uh, obviously by this point, he kind of sees her as uh, like a surrogate daughter, right? So um, in the end. Um, he kind of doesn't like what they're doing, the fact that Ellie will die. And so he kind of breaks into this little hospital thing that they're at. And Ellie's already on the, the surgery table, but he like goes in and, and essentially kind of kidnaps her while she's unconscious and takes her out of there, rescues her. And uh, late, Ellie later asks what happened um, because she was unconscious during this bit. And Joel tells her, he lies to her and says, they found a lot of other immune people to make the cure from and they, they didn't need you in the end. And 
Ellie was like, is that true? And Joel's like, yes. And then the game ends there. So that's the recap of The Last of Us Part 2. Or Part 1, sorry, not Part 2. The Last of Us 1. Um, it's very emotional. It's, it's got a really good story. But that's the basic gist of it. All right, we're about to dive in. We're about to dive in. Where are the download at? Oh, we're doing good. This is fine. Okay, I guess we're going to dive in now. What theme is that? Hi, Squeezy. This is the theme you get with the Digital Deluxe Edition. I don't even know if you're still here. I was busy recapping part one. It's like a Michael Bay movie. Cordyceps freaked you the F out. It's actually a thing that exists in real life, but it doesn't affect human brains to the scale that it affects like ants and other small insects. It does what I described to small insects like uh, ants and, and um, bees and things like that, but it doesn't affect the human brain to that extent. Because even if scientists say it can affect humans, scientists also said the world was flat and the sun revolved around the earth, and more recently that electrons are tiny balls that orbit the nucleus. We don't know what we don't know. Utah has great skiing, does it? Thank you, Rastra. Oh, you're here, Squeezy. Okay, yeah, this comes with the digital deluxe. You got a different theme? Did you get the digital deluxe edition? I didn't finish the comment. What comment? Wave at the screen? Why am I waving at the screen? Huh. Basically, if you like a game that will hit you in the feels, you'll like this series. Yeah. And in part two, we, from what I gather, we play as Ellie, who's grown up a little. So, here we go. Oh, sweet. I'm excited. Hopefully the download finishes while we're working on this. Hopefully, we shall see. You believe you did? You got the art book, a theme, and soundtracks. And the theme you got is different? Because that's the theme I got for the pre-order, or for the digital deluxe. Text-to-speech, off, enables narration of on-screen text. Oh, nah. English, English, continue. Uh, it's good. Continue. I might just leave everything default. I'm just gonna leave everything default. Subtitles! On! Medium's good. Background? Let's do default. Names on. Name colors. I guess I'll do it on. Direction? Enables an arrow next to subtitles indicating the screen relative direction of the person speaking. Nah. Okay. This is cool. There's so much... Um, Customization. This is the most customization I've seen for subtitles. The heck? Just gonna leave that. Okay. Heard this game turns your PS4 into a helicopter. It is pretty loud right now, yes. I've never heard it go that loud. You hear that PS4 going crazy out there? Yeah, I've never heard it go that loud before. Is that normal? <laughs> Is it normal for your PS4 to go ham playing this game? You heard a lot of good things about the accessibility. Yeah. Huh. You have the thing that shows Ellie playing guitar behind a tree. Interesting. If someone doesn't want spoilers for part one, why are they here for part two? I don't know. Sounds like it's about to take off. <laughs> Options. Everything's okay. Guess we're just gonna start. Shen, thank you! One of the few games I had to watch the VOD of because I missed the live stream was Clue. I am so excited to watch you play part two oh, and this time live. Yes! This time live. Thank you, Shen, for the thousand biddies. Just splash the bit cup. 
And unlock party mounts for a bunch of people in chat. Thank you, Shin. I'm excited too. So excited. This game has more than 60 accessibility options. It's being hailed as the most accessible game on PS4. That's so dope. PS4 going to the moon? Houston, we have a problem. When the That's awesome though, Shin. Thank you so much. I'm happy to have you here for the live part of it. You're going to lurk so you can play the game yourself. Take care, Phil. Enjoy your lurk. Skylark, you love the actress that plays Ellie? Yes. Oh, interesting. Okay, story. New game. Uh, moderate provides a balanced experience. Resources are limited. Light, less challenging than moderate. Resources are more common. Enemies are less dangerous. Very light or hard or survival or survivor. I'm going to go moderate because that's normal. I usually do normal on first playthroughs. You're playing on moderate. It feels fair. Okay. Cool beans. Mm. Camera assist. I'm just going to leave that off. Okay. Oh, you can change level difficulty at any time. Alrighty. Cool beans. Very light. You would need baby mode. <laughs> oh, did we drop some frames? Yeah, we did. Should be good now, though. You don't know? You're stalled out, too? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean you're stalled out? Frigid legumes. Oh, the video froze, reloaded. Yeah, that was must have been a little, little blurb. I think that's what happened. Hi, Azuriel. What just happened? Uh, if the video froze, somebody can tell Azuriel just to refresh or pause and replay. We dropped some frames for a little bit, so somebody tell Azuriel. A naughty dog game. They just get stingy with bullets on harder difficulties, yeah. The detail, though. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to take her to the fireflies and walk away. Go halfway across the country with someone. She needed her immunity to mean something. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the firefly. Because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. It would kill her. Sweet Jesus. Doctor! What are you doing? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Jesus Christ, Joe. Oh, it's Tommy. What do you do? I saved her. This game looks so good. Thought he was IRL. He changed? He's older looking. I don't know how many years this is after The Last of Us Part 1, but we'll find out. Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. Plus, he started calling Ellie baby girl. Cover the exit. Don't let him get away. Shit. Damn. 
that so? That's a lot. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I told her her immunity meant nothing. And she believed you? I didn't say otherwise. <sighs> we should head back. I feel like they redid them, Inkheart. They're super nice. The operating theater probably wasn't sterile anyway. Yeah, in a post-apocalyptic universe. Hey, Crazy Mo. Yeah, we started it. The download's still not done, but let's see. Oh, we get horses. So exciting. That's a beautiful guitar, by the way. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow. Dead bodies. Can I look for loot? Am I allowed to look for loot? Wow, this is so cool. There's probably not loot at the beginning. It actually feels like a horse, though. I don't know why. The movements are so nice. Even the horse's, like, butt jiggles. It, like, jiggles. It's a jiggly horse butt. <laughs> Wishbone! There's horses in this game! This is cool, though. So pretty. Huh. Turn it up to hear them talking low. Please don't scream without warning. Oh yeah. Yeah, we should be good. Do we need to, do you want me to turn up the game a little bit? I can. Okay, I turned everything up a little. Let me know if it uh, ends up being too loud. No. Yep, yeah, me and horses. Good luck with horses, right? I don't think this is going to be anything like... Like in Red Dead Redemption 2. This is going to be another soundtrack you'll own? I'm glad the Digital Deluxe comes with the soundtrack. It's so pretty. The doctor wasn't certain that it would work. Oh, is that what we got in the first one? They did redo them. Oh, okay. The graphics! Isn't it so pretty? Oh, nice. Guess we're gonna have a, a horse throughout the game. <laughs> if they're telling us to gallop. Telling us to gallop, we're probably gonna have to ride a horse throughout the game. stuff. Yeah. 
Uh, looks like he went back to where Tommy and his wife like set up their base. That was in the first game. Yeah, it's the same city. Yeah, Cora. Does it come with the full or mini soundtrack? I didn't check yet, Shin, actually. Starts like The Witcher 3 following an old friend on a horse. Yeah. Brings a whole new meaning to the song Goodbye Horses. <laughs> Do I? Ashley Johnson and Troy Baker. And Laura Bailey. Was Laura Bailey in the first one too? Come on. It's okay. I got him. You go on. You sure? Yeah. About what we were talking about earlier. I can't say I'd have done different. Good night, 46 Racer. I'll take you to the grave if I have to. The horse doesn't stand still, it moves like a real horse. Yeah. It's so much so much good like detail. That. You're gonna dig out for the night. Sounds good. Take care, Phineas. Thank you, thank you. You love Laura Bailey as well? Yeah. I've heard her in quite a few things. She's an artist. Ellie? She's listening to a tape player. Cassette tape player. <laughs> Jesus. Just gave me a heart attack. I tried knocking, but... Hey. Hey. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks are... You know, talking about how impressed they are with you and... how well you're helping out. Good. Yeah. Tommy and I went out riding the other day and he, uh, <laughs> he told me a joke and I, I thought about you. It's, um, oh shoot, no, I forgot it. Uh, something about a clock. How do you? Joel, it's, uh, it's pretty late and I gotta get up in a few hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I'm, I'm gonna get out of your hair. Just, um... I, w I want to show you something. Just give me one second. Hey, Arkaya. Must be sad there's no internet. All she can do is draw. What's yeah. This? Sitting with your back to the door with headphones. Uh, some folks call this thing here a guitar. A guitar. Funny. <laughs> you want to hear something? Okay. I turned up the game volume, by the way. <laughs> Promise me that you won't laugh. I won't laugh. I won't. I'm trusting you. That beauty of a guitar. It is pretty. 
Oh, oh God. Wow. Am I supposed to go up or down on these? Why, why do they, why do they do this? Why do they gotta make me do stuff? Just play the music without me. If I ever were to lose you, I'd surely lose myself. Everything I have found here, I'm not found by myself. Try and sometimes you'll succeed to make this man of me. All my stolen missing parts, I have no need for anymore. As I believe, and I believe, as I can see, our future days, days of you and me. It does feel like I'm watching a movie, though. Ha Shot and Shen, you know? There you go. Well, that didn't suck. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. She's yours. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promise that I teach you how to play. You did. So what do you say, tomorrow night? First lesson? Do you remember the joke? Um. <laughs> what is the downside to eating a clock? It's time consuming. <laughs> Such a dad joke. <laughs> Crack me up. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, he called her kiddo. That's so cute. The more you hear the song, the more you like it, Squeezy. It's good. That was nice. Title drunk. Hopefully the game's not too loud. Now it seems really loud. Four years later. Oh gosh. She's grown oh, older. Shit. So she's probably in her late teens. Hey. Morning. Sorry, I totally overslept. Just give me a minute and I'll get dressed. I heard you had quite a night after I left. I... She kissed me. It was just Dina being Dina. Dina? She didn't mean anything by it. I was talking about your fight with Seth. Wait. You kissed Dina? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought this was... We're broken up one week and you make a move on my girl? No. <sighs> she was probably just trying to make you jealous. I didn't... I would never... I'm messing with you, man. I don't care. Get dressed. <sighs> You're the worst. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up you did that. <laughs> Get your stuff together. We're already late. Okay. 
Oh, you wouldn't turn it up too high right now? Okay. Should I put it back to where it was? Let me see. Okay, I turned it up only a couple decibels above where it usually is. <clears throat> Sammy, you've cried about three times so far. This is gorgeous. I think it helps to know their backstory, too. Pro Dad Jokes was the title used for a paragraph about this game. Oh. <clears throat> Just a warning, there are points where the game does get really loud. Okay. Well, I'm going to... I put it, like, a couple decibels higher than where I normally run my console. Um, my console volume. Let me reset my capture card for a second. Okay. Sweet. So... Triangle. Grab our jacket. Get a gun. <sighs> sure. Okay. <sighs> Any other loot? Remember this? She does the same thing. Just like we had in the first in the first game. Journal. Dina asked if I was gonna go to the dance and she touched my arm. Ah, I'm so delusional. Don't be an idiot. She's like that with everybody. Don't fuck up your friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship. Tonight was crazy. I feel scared. Elated. Anxious. Just gotta sleep it off. Interesting. Journal. So exciting. Joel taught her well. Yeah, in the first game, Joel does that too when he does his backpack stuff. <clears throat> Puts it on the floor, you know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I'm just looking for loot. I'm usually, um, <clears throat> or at least I try to be thorough. <clears throat> <clears throat> Voice dying. Okay. Nothing over here? Just the backpack? Oh, it's not even 7 a.m.? It's hella early. The fuck? Hey, is Joel up? Hmm. Oh, Alice, thank you. That sucks. <clears throat> Shut up. I was just about to get up. I was. You got everything? <sighs> yes. It's winter time. There's snow. Winter time. Look at all the snow. Got some light footprints. This game is very snowy, it is. It's like AC and H playtime early, yeah. Wait, was there a PS3? Did I miss it? Can I go back in? Ah. Was there actually a PS3? Heads up, you're the talk of the town this morning. <sighs> what? You blew it! Let's see if I got this right. You kissed Dina. She kissed me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not so nice word. Yep. Then Joel decked him. More of a push. And then you got mad at Joel. That part confused me. It was a strange night, man. Sounds exciting. This is cool. Sorry, I missed. Looks like greenhouses. This game's officially on brand. Hell yeah. This makes you want to play the first one again and make yourself like it. Did you not like the first game? 
Oh, it was so good. It was one by the TV. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't see it. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just over here expecting to find Where some loot. Where is she? The diner. Is this about Seth? No clue. Just tell her you never saw me. Nope. Where's your fucking loyalty? Excuse me? <laughs> hey, so... We're okay. Right. You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are done. I know. I was just... I don't want you to think... Ellie. We're cool. Wrong. This is a nice little town. Thanks. It's so bustling. They must be breeding oh, blue oh. roses. Oh, dog! Can we pet the dog? <gasps> we can pet the dog! Oh, it's so cute! Ah, oh, this game already gets a 10 out of 10. We can pet the dog. Oh, it's so cute. <clears throat> can we do anything else? I just want to go explore. I just have this urge to explore. Maybe. There was a doggo! <clears throat> there was a second auction car sold. Bought for 88k, sold for 205k. Nice, huh, Shunt? You wanna feed the dog zombie parts? I don't know if that's a good idea. I feel like the dog could get infected. Might have been because it's PlayStation, you play Xbox, so you couldn't get used to it, but this looks good. Aww. Hey, Ellie. <clears throat> but it's so good. <gasps> There's a snowman. Look at the little snowman. <clears throat> the detail. <clears throat> Infected dogs? This is not Resident Evil! Was this not originally a Resident Evil game? Snow Angels! That's so cool! Sweet. No, game ruined for you. You walked out of the room during the doggo part. You could hear it on your Bluetooth. Race back, but it was gone. Oh, ink card. It's, it's this doggo right here. It's this precious little doggo. Walks up to you, and then you have an, an option to press triangle and pet it. Yeah, the snow sparkles. Snow sparkles. Snowy snowman won't even acknowledge you. I tried. It's pretty cool. Game unruined. Thank goodness. Yeah, you can see the doggo. See the doggo. Well, it looks like there's a. Uh, they're just. Oh hi. Butchering meat. The blacksmith. We've gone back in time. Yo. Of course. Thank you, Doc. Legit. Horseshoes and stuff. Yeah, it's like an old west town, yeah. Tipsy bison. We're going into the tipsy bison. Okay. Want to grab some breakfast? <coughs> no. Where's Maria? In the back. Lots of people up in here. Did you know Resident Evil was supposed to be a sequel to The Last of Us? Never mind the fact that Resident Evil came out before. Excuse me. <laughs> Ellie. There you are. Come here. Seth's got something he wants to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Do it for me. Please. <sighs> Fine. Seth. Seth, come here. <laughs> hey. Uh, look, 
last night, I was, uh, I was drinking too much. Sure. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Then you should just say I'm sorry. Someone tells me that you and Dean are headed out. <clears throat> yeah. Made you some sandwiches. Okay. <laughs> okay. They're steak. Steak sandwiches. Thank you, Seth. Hey, Smike. Yeah. Well, uh, you be safe out there. Yep. I appreciate that. What you got there? Bigot sandwiches. <laughs> mm. Smells good. They're yours. You sure? It's fine. Let me walk you out. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Tifa must be there. The tipsy bison has better service than the shit faced elk. That's funny. Sandwiches. Guess we'll see. When you go out, I want you to trade off with Tommy and Joel. Those boys have been up for far too long. Where do I meet them? If you go up to the Northwest Lookout, they're scheduled to arrive later today. But watch yourself. There's too many sightings of infected recently. Of course. I was gonna check out the creek trails. I'll need someone else to cover it. Ellie, you know the creek trails? Not really. Dean has done it a bunch. I'll have the two of them take it. Well, that solves that. Ellie, can I talk to you for a sec? Attention, lost and found has moved. Due to space issues, the lost and found is now located at the end of Main Street in New Buck Leather. Free puppies to anyone that will take one. The Winter Dance, 7 to 11 p.m. at the church. Winter Dance potluck sign-up sheet. Huh? Town Hall meeting Monday. Need trade ASAP. Child's jacket needed, I think. Have men's. Oh, I can't even read it. To trade. Handwriting. Handwriting. <clears throat> Have men's boots to trade. Talk to. Ishmael, boot size 10. Whoever stole Japan's blanket, bring it back. He's getting cold. Don't be an ass. Wonder if Japan's the dog. Dina. Movie night. This week's movie is rated G, kid friendly. House breaking Rufus. Volunteers needed. We need some volunteers to help out this Thursday while Kelly is on patrol duty. <clears throat> Please let either Kelly or Bobby know if this is something you could help with. Thanks. Interesting. You don't see anything about turnip prices. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we moved a little closer. Those dialogue prompts disappear. Oh, do they? So we should probably do it before we run out of time. Is that what you're saying? Sometimes they do? Okay. Check for frost on plants. Bleach toys. Fire safety. Bleach toys. Kinder play. Favorite fruit. Apple. Student of the month. My name is Mary. Favorite fruit is apple. Favorite color is pink. Okay. Well, I feel like this is one of the required dialogues to proceed, which is why I thought we should look. <laughs> You know? <clears throat> so, look, I don't know what's <clears throat> going on with you and Joel. <sighs> Maria. The guy really cares about you. And I'm sure he didn't mean to. We're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry to pry. Hmm. Be safe. Thanks. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yo, Dina. Assignments. <clears throat> Just give me a minute. We get your girlfriend to the stables, please. Oh my God. 
<laughs> Hi, oh, hamsters. Regina. Welcome to the stream. Can I talk to you? <clears throat> hey, guys. I'm tapping out. Come on. How long? Whew. Hey. Hey. Oh. Um, I just want to say sorry for running off last night. Oh, that's it's okay. I totally get it. I <laughs> I just I felt bad. Why? Because I started the whole thing and I just I shouldn't have kissed you in front of all of those people. No, and no, you were drunk. It's fine. Well, still, I just I don't want you to think. No, I'm not reading into it or anything. Just you know what I love about you? How you let me finish my sentences. All right. Well, we should probably get going. Oh, yeah. Ow! Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not even playing. Cause you're a chicken. You're a chicken. <laughs> I hate this kid so much. Is the tutorial a snowball fight? Let's go. Yeah, I do. The tutorial is a snowball fight. You better run, you little shits. Holy oh, shit! Get the this is how to go, attack. Go. Oh <laughs> shit! Kid, I mean, frick. Don't tell your mom. Oh, you like that? Oh, dang it. Oh, I'm coming for you, Tiny. Got him. Oh, suck it. Is there a place to hide? Can I just hide? Oh, here we go. Damn it! These kids! These fucking kids! In your face! Oh, whoops! <laughs> Awkward. Such good aim. <laughs> Not <laughs> fair. Ow. Who taught you that? Fucking kids. Why are kids so good at aiming? Gotcha. <laughs> Miss me. <laughs> oh no, you got snow in your hair. <laughs> no, no, Eat no. snow, you little shit. We're winning. If you were not a child, I would pelt you. <laughs> so bad at this? Kids are cheating! Kids are fucking cheating! Why don't we have more things to hide behind? You better run. You better run. We did oh, it. Bear. Eat it, shrimps. Hey. hey. How's it feel? <laughs> Diz. No. Looks get terrible. Her. You'll never get away with it. We supposed to pile? <laughs> get out of here, you monsters. Children. All right, we actually have some work to do. Scram. Snowy throwing snowballs, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. That was pretty cool. We did it. Cool, cool. That was pretty cool. All right. Uh, since your name is Snowy, you should be able to throw snowballs, right? <laughs> Beating up kids for combat practice. Diz, please. It's almost like playing shooter PvP with kids. They got too much time to practice aim. No, they, they were so accurate. The ending score was like six to ten. We finally, we finally got them. Like, what the heck? Hmm. 
Everything Dina says is actually things you would be saying. Yeah. She's a new character, but I like her right now. She's been... I'm curious to know more about her. And how they met and stuff. So. Can knife him as well, Diz, please. Commander of the Storm, you gotta be good at throwing snowballs. That's why you don't want kids, Linty? Not the mess or lack of personal time, but because they're assholes with snowballs, yeah? Kids. So, Jesse wants us to do the creek trails. He's gonna relieve Joel and Tommy. Oh, that's nice he assigned us together. You're gonna like this route. Okay. Shall we go look for loot? Maybe? The snow sparkles! All the sparkling! Just looking around. Don't mind me. Huh. The snow over there is lit. All oh, the snow lit! Hey. It's pretty great. Morning, girls. Morning. Oh, look at all the horses. I'll bring them in. Thank you. So many horses. I'm so excited. Oh, it's fitting the, the horseshoe to the horse. Is that what it's normally like? I've never really like seen this with a horse and stuff. Is this what you normally do when you put the horseshoe on a horse? Are you really supposed to be jabbing it with a with a tool like that? You watching that swagger? She's the love interest. Yeah, they already kissed. Diz. Ellie runs like a drunk person with snowy steers. <laughs> that is how they do it, really? I've never seen that. That guy's name was Man? Are we gonna see Man named Guy? <laughs> Sold a wig, please. You're do you've done an internship at a stable. It's accurate. Oh. Those are like toenails. You have to cut them and trim them every so often. Oh, so he's not putting on a horseshoe. He's trimming? You're nailing the shoe to the horse. Oh. I didn't know that. The detail in this game. Hi, horse. Oh, I just walked through your head. Is your head gonna walk through me? That was kind of weird. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Demon horse! Oh, there are YouTube videos you can watch. Did she just dab? No. Dirt and shit literally can build up inside the shoes, too. Oh. Interesting. A nice manny petty. Mm-hmm. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Thanks. Come on. All right. Do the horses not get sca scared by the infected, though? Hey, Shimmer. Oh, Shimmer. Cute. Oh, look who decided to join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One for you. And one for you. Open it up. Settle down, children. They use like crazy all right. toenail clippers. You all know the drill. Run your routes, mark your log books, clear any infected you see. You run into anything you can't handle. You come back. Be smart about it. All right. Get going. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we'll find out. Just hope the horse you're working yeah. isn't an ass. They'll kick like a mule. You got knocked out cold for a couple hours during your internship. Oh, damn. Oh, that view, though. That view, though. It'll be like that time in Red Dead 2. <laughs> when I got knocked out? Yeah. Just floored by the horse kick. Do we end up going out to a... A cabin of some sort? I guess we're back to Joel, maybe. See what he's doing. You can hear my PS4 going ham? Yeah, that's my PS4 in the background. Walking by this horse. Bam! Oh, it's not Joel. Wait, who is this? Who are these people? Hey. We don't know who they are. What were you dreaming about? Was I talking? You're doing your teeth grinding thing. <laughs> Where have you been? Hey Lars, how you doing? Grab your gear. I want to show you something. What? Trust me. Since they're since they don't have names, I feel like they're both just gonna die. We don't know who they are. They don't have names according to the subtitles. I think they're just gonna die. Come on, this way. She's got some arms, yeah. That's goals right there, her arms. You gotta kick some ass during a zombie apocalypse. That's the kind of strength you want, you know? <sighs> it's cold. Are you sure you don't wanna do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. Hmm. Yeah, he's named Man too. He is Swordwig. <laughs> Quick non-spoiler fact, one of the people in that cabin is modeled off of Neil Druckmann. Oh, really? You can't hear Snowy's PS4, your laptop's so noisy itself. Swordwig, really? <laughs> yeah, the other's named Woman. <laughs> Hmm. There's Laura Bailey. Oh, is this is this woman's voice uh, Laura Bailey? She can't walk well, though. She's walking. Look at the snow patterns. Can I draw in the snow? Can I... Can I just make a circle? Can we make a heart? Can I walk in the shape of a heart? Let's try. Heart time! Did it work? Oh, look at my heart! Look at that! That's one sexy heart. <laughs> ah, I can send some heat from here in exchange for some cold, yeah? Can she spell her name in urine? That's terrible! Inappropriate drawing! You don't trust some unnamed man asking you into the woods before dawn. Yeah, I don't even know what to expect here. I just got excited about drawing in the snow. Alright, let's go. <laughs> the heart might need a pacemaker, but it'll do. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Do we have a gun? I hope we have a weapon of defense. Been wandering around out here by yourself. Been restless. You too. Do I you have like a gun? The farther south we go, the prettier it's gotten. You want to keep going? And just drive all the way to Mexico? I've thought about it. I can see Manny's hometown. <laughs> yeah, I don't 
see that living up to his story somehow. Yeah, no, probably not. Was I supposed to go that way? Can I go back the other way? Oh. Okay, so there's two places to squeeze through. Because I went the other way. So he went this way. And then I was like, I'm going to be different. I'm going to go this way. And so I went this way. And I did the exact same thing. Just like this. Oh. More than one option. That's nice. It's not so linear. Did anybody say this game was linear? It's not linear. <laughs> you can go through two different cracks. Oh, be prepared to slide yourself to the left because the HUD lives in the bottom right corner. Oh, shit, really? I'm blocking it? Oh, okay. Let me go ahead and, I guess, move myself. Is this going to be weird if I put myself to the left? What if I did this? Is this better? Kind of in the middle? Or is that blocking too much? That might be blocking too much. That'll do. How far left can I should I go? I don't want to block the subtitles either. It's taking you out of the game, Diz, is it? Oh, sorry, I had alerts muted. Sorry. Mods, I don't know, happy face. Now back to the shadows. Hope your quarantine's okay, loves. Thank you, Ruby Beauty. Holy shit. Hello, hello. <laughs> happy face. Thank you. I hope you've been well, Ruby. It's been a hot minute. Thank you so much for 52 months. And I hope you've been well. We are uh, done adding time to our streamathon timer, but that extra support's massively appreciated. Thank you, thank you. I'll knock pride emotes for yourself and others in chat. Yas. Why does she have so much snow on her butt? She slid through the cracks. This is why we don't have to worry about the extra download. If there's a third place to squeeze through, you're gonna buy the game, right, Zodwig? We could wait until the HUD appears? Okay, yeah. Maybe I'll do that. So I can judge how far to shift myself. Okay. Can you make your face cam just bounce around the screen like the DVD screensaver so it's never in one place? I know exactly what you're talking about. That's amazing. The backpack prevented her butt from touching the walls. Maybe she was making a snow angel. You know? You did all this in the dark? Yes. Now come on. Wonder when we get to learn their names. I want to learn their names. Because what if they just die? So we can go up that way. <gasps> but look, there's a second path. Is this game going to continue to give me options? Oh, look at this. Wow! Whoa, the tree! <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Can I make more snow fall off the tree? That's all I want to do right now. Is there, is there more? Can I do these? No? Oh, those branches aren't fun. I want to do this again. It's not not falling off the tree anymore. Damn it. Yeah, I think these tree branches suck. <sighs> the backpack? I already read that. Shifting oneself can be bad. Have you ever shipped your pants? You upgraded resident services in six days. That's so fast. How did you do that, Sammy? Who cares about a story when there's trees? Yeah. It's not often, Batch. You see someone that appreciates attention to detail. The way that I do. Kudos. Gotta make sure you're all paying attention. I'm sure some of you have watched other streamers and you're like, Oh, it's so good. But did they take the time to appreciate the trees? Oh, I hear sirens. Oh. On a mute.
Just so many sirens recently. The snow is better in Red Dead 2. It's still pretty fluffy in this game. Totally no longer worried about catching up. Oh, I go hella slow. Oh, we did it! We did it! Oh, we found more! Make the snow fall off. This is what I live for. That's the detail. You know somebody in the game had to design and program these trees. So we have to be one of the few people that runs into them to knock the snow off. We got to appreciate it. Somebody out there had to do that. Somebody. Oh, look at that. Somebody out there programmed the trees to lose snow. All right, we have two. We have two ledges. Look. This is the ledge that he came from. Right? And then we were like we went this way, but we could go back up this way. Or alternatively, we can go back down the way that we came up and go up the, the way that he went. There's so many options in this game. Oh, it's so good. Oh, look at that. Options. Option number two. <laughs> exactly. That was someone's entire day, right? Right. Just like Dr. Manhattan's Wang and the Watchmen. <laughs> Someone missed karaoke night to program that tree. <laughs> exactly. Now you want the tracks in the snow appreciated? They're still there. Yeah, from me going back and forth repeatedly. It's pretty cool. All right. Detail. I see another tree we can walk into. Look. Watch this. We keep going like this. We're going to be tired for today's trip. It's not that far. Hey, is Mel okay? She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. We you stop being weird? You're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. You are being weird. That's what something... That's something a weird person would say. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Here's another one. Here we go. Oh, it's so satisfying. I don't know why. My goal now is to walk into every tree. Are trees the new boxes? I think so. Yeah, he is being weird. He's like, follow me. And he won't say why or where. I'm just busy walking into trees, appreciating the snow. Look at this. Ah, oh, so satisfying. I think we need more. This man's missing out. He's not walking into all the trees. This is so gratuitous right here. Oh, there's so many for us to walk into! This is like Christmas! <laughs> I don't know why I'm enjoying that so much. Okay. Can we climb this? This looks climbable. Climb. Careful jumping over these. Oh, no? Don't mind me. I'm just walking into trees. Oh! Look at that. Look at that. Is that it? Have we hit every single tree that we could? Oh wait, there's one more. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was so good. You know what? I bet every other streamer walked past these trees. They didn't do what I did. This is officially a completionist run. Officially! <laughs> Alright. I assume you can die in this part. <laughs> so I'm gonna try not to die. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a wild jump. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good. Nice. <laughs> her Diz bust out laughing in the other room. Why? She gets more snow on her? Yeah, I got this nailed down. You want to watch this from the man's point of view? Watching this woman walk into trees, I know. <laughs> uh, such open-ended gameplay, right? Uh, laughing too much. That was a weird joke. Super Mario jump. Oh. Oh. This game's great, though. I'm enjoying it. No. What? No. You wish. 
Uh, I've had my fill. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm enjoying this so much. Is that it? Just one tree? You gotta be kidding me! No more trees? There's just one? I'm disappointed. Okay, let's go. This is fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna let Danny. I'm crying. I'm laughing so hard. I'm crying. God damn it. <laughs> if I don't hurry up, what do you mean? He's being hella weird. I feel like he's gonna end up stabbing woman. Man is gonna stab woman. Because he's not telling her what's going on. Or he's going to lead her into a group of infected or some shit. Or they're both going to die because they don't even have names. That's what happens in horror movies. How many horror movies have you all watched? Okay. No, her name is Woman. The subtitle says Woman. And then he's Man. But no, how many horror movies have you watched where generic couple dies because they're wandering into like the forest by themselves you know <laughs> we were worried I was gonna hit the point where I couldn't play oh you want me to jump again <laughs> she does kind of do this like Mario jump I think what made that part weird was because it was like a low distance, you know? Or a short distance. You didn't even need to jump! Wait a second, hold on. You didn't even need- You don't even need to jump through that part! You could just walk! Look! You can literally just walk through this part! Why would the game tell you to jump? When you clearly don't need to jump. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing too hard. God damn it. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> just so, just think that jump was mo capped how many times? I haven't tried jumping into a tree yet. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> See? Nothing happens. She did jump though. Oh, look! Water edge! That's so cool. I'm just practicing my jump, don't mind me! Okay, let's go. We're good. Uh, your feet are wet now, that's true. Oh, we're good. We're good. We know woman's gonna die? How do we know? I'm crying from laughing. My makeup's gone. Okay. Let's go. Dive? Explore. I think you end up dying if you do. See, like, I don't think you can even walk off of it. Look. See? You can't walk off of it. It's like a wall. It's pretty cool, though. Yeah, it's like she's got a hitch in your getting up. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what's happening? Is it worth staying up to 4.30 for this? Oh, I'm glad. This is how I play games. I know some people like to watch other streamers because they're probably more serious when they play a game. But I like to explore. And when I explore, I find weird things sometimes. <laughs> we have to run to make it. Oh, we have to you run! Can I can do it. Gotta hit the tree first, you know? Alright. Sprint, jump! Here we go! I gotta get a running start. Uh... <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I made it. I'll be as graceful as you. I made it. Okay. <laughs> Jumping, but not really. Thank you, Brazoki. What is that? For the clip. Fine. It's too high. Come on. What's he doing? I don't trust this guy. Oh gosh! All oh, this view, though. Look at this view. Holy moly! This makes me go want to go to a mountain now. Ah, ouch! And he doesn't help woman up. Yeah, he's gonna kill her. We'll see. My makeup's gone. I was crying. Missed you mocking me, saying water edge. Is it at the water edge? 
It's a water edge. <laughs> Niagara water edges. Do the thatch. <laughs> oh, so at this point, you wonder why anyone ever watches any other streamer. <laughs> the wet boots. Try it without jumping. Wait, the, the water part? I don't think we can walk across that. If only I live near the mountains. Utah, you guess? I think so, yeah. They're in like the Utah or Colorado area or something. Oh shit! Hey. Eyes on me. Abby. Oh, her Stop name's Abby. We have a name. We have a name. Owen. Owen. Have to go back this way. Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. Abby and Owen. My foot up your ass. Abby. Stop flirting. What? You stop flirting. How dare you assume. I just wanted to walk into trees. It's the only reason I came out here. Goodness. Oh, he just walked into a tree. <gasps> NPCs can do it too. Did you all see that? He knocked the snow off that tree. He's still going. Is that him on the other side? Oh yeah, he's back. Wait, the snow's still falling? How much snow is in that tree? I don't know. He totally did that though. <laughs> we don't trust him. How do we know he isn't lying? We have names now. Names. He's copying you. Ask the tree. Yeah. Azuriel, which do I prefer? Ellie or Joel? I like both of them. I can't really pick one. You know? Eyes on me. Sweet Final Fantasy 8 reference. When do we start killing zombies? I'm ready. Oh! Was that always there? Wait. Where's he at? Okay. Okay, never mind. I thought we had to climb up. Oh, we can! Oh! Is this normal? Oh! What? I just wanted to walk into that tree. Can I not? <laughs> options! Yeah, there's options! Just want to hit that tree. I feel like we can hit that tree, no? Well, I guess not. Guess we're going through here. Are we not going through here? <laughs> what? You have one job! Did I break this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, we're good. We made it. God. Game. Okay. <laughs> I swear I'm playing this game. This is fine. I'm good. <sighs> oh. Is it? I'm crying. We made it. We Holy made shit. it. Whoa. That's a fucking city. That's, oh, that's, uh, Tommy's place. Have you told anyone else? I wanted you to see it first. <laughs> Saw an armed patrol go from town to an outpost over there. A few more outposts in between. They have electricity, guns. It's a lot of people. We can figure it out. Okay. Assuming he's in there, how do we get to him? We can corner one of the patrols and get confirmation, and then, I don't know, maybe find a way to lure him out. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll be happy to offer that information up. Well, then we make them. Do you hear yourself? Okay, what do you want to do? What is going on with you? Mel's pregnant. Hmm. Oh. Okay. It's not just that, though. Should I say congrats? 
When everyone else sees this, they're gonna want to turn back. We can convince them, right? I fucking knew I couldn't count on you. Happy. I want what you want. But not at any cost. Hey. Don't! This is like watching a movie. I feel like I'm watching a movie. See you back at the lodge. The hair looks so detailed. You can see every strand. she's gonna go do we have a gun what if we get ambushed I don't give a fuck. as long as there's trees we should be good I hope there's trees is there any loot maybe there's loot she responded to me did she a movie about a woman walking into trees yeah what if we get ambushed? I mean, I don't give a fuck. That's true. Murder. Maybe man was not the creeper, but woman's a murder. <laughs> yeah, she's going by herself. I feel like we're gonna, we're gonna run into like Tommy Maria's people, cause that they're the ones who run the base. Well, we can't go down there. Oh, oh, okay. What? Is this a dead end? Did I somehow walk into a dead end? How does this make any sense? Oh, we gotta jump! God, you suck at landing those jumps! Damn it! I think I'm going the right way. I feel like we're gonna run into an infected at some point. She's going for it. Every tree shall be molested along the way. Not molested. We're walking into them. That's all. Making them drop their snow. If we find any. I feel like we're supposed to run into an infected at some point. They have to introduce those to the player in the game. Maybe we'll get a clicker or something. You know? If anybody doesn't know, the clickers are the, like, the more... I guess, the stronger um, zombie enemies in the first game. They're completely blind, but their sense of hearing is super sharp. And they make like a clicking noise. It's kind of creepy. Okay, I kind of lost myself. <laughs> I'm going somewhere, I think. I feel like I went in circles. Oh, we got a sprint jump for something. What am I sprint jumping for? Oh, 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 I see. I see. <laughs> oh, I suck. This will take a while. Hold on. Hold on. Drop that snow. Her jumping is great. Yeah. Clickers are terrifying. They are. How does one lose self if feet are still attached to eyes? I don't know. Nailed it! You missed that jump five times? <laughs> hey! First try. What, Batch? What? Pro gamer right here. Yeah! Can we snowboard? All this makes me want to snowboard. Still looking for trees, don't worry. Can I hit this tree? Can't walk into that tree? No? Okay. We're going places. I feel like we're gonna get... We're gonna get caught. Go prone? Oh. That's what prone means. Okay. I feel like at some point something's gonna jump out. Oh, snowboarding! Nice! 
She said, oof. Cool. He got me pregnant. Oh, the music's picking up. Music's picking up. Do we have a gun? Shit. Oh, I'm ready. Ah. <laughs> okay, I see the HUD now. Let me see. Like right here? Do we have a HUD now? We do. This seems legit. It's a sunrise and there's a rainbow. Pretty sure this thing's dead. One of them is going to get up. I'm going to shit myself. I can feel it. We're going to get attacked. We're going to get attacked! Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, you hold it. I was over there spamming triangle. was grody. That was hella grody. <sighs> oh, I don't think we should be firing gunshots. Can we get a silencer on this gun? <laughs> I'm mashing square so hard. Shoot it! 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 Wrong button! Melee! Oh, we're gonna punch this shit! Holy fuck! This is why she has like so many muscles! Oh! Oh, she's so badass! Oh, that was so cool! Remember when we were all like... She's got some, some arms, you know? She's got some guns. She's... Oh! That was probably the worst idea. I only have two bullets. Guess we gotta start punching them. Do I get a healing pack or some shit? Ugh, fuck. My shoulder. Health kit. Oh, we gotta do this whole, like, battle royale shit. This is Fortnite shit. Oh, okay. I need to get a view. Why do we want to turn on a flashlight in here? We have no bullets, though. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> it's the same old thing since 1916. Oh, in your head, in your head, they are fighting. Uh, 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 zombie and stuff. 
<laughs> Ew face. Thanks, Brzoki. Thanks for the clip. <sighs> Gotta get good. The healing method was long before Fortnite. That's true. That is true. I just remember that being a thing. What if I don't want to turn on the flashlight? That's where the zombies come in. Is there any loot? I need bullets. You think we'll find some bullets in here? More loot? I wanted some loot. Guess there's no more loot. Huh. Okay. Take care, Brazoki. Thanks for hanging out. Sweet dreams. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, we're due for our, our last break. We should probably take a break. Shit. Been playing so long, I completely forgot. So. Break time. Maybe don't waste them. Yeah, my aim was really bad, though. <laughs> Snowy getting scared is one of your favorite things ever, Batch, is it? Don't know about bullets, but bullets. Maybe. Yeah, we should save. You're right. Pop a save. We should pop a save. New manual save. Nice. Well, let's pause here. Oh, not if they're clickers. You can flash clickers all day long. That's true, because they're blind. All right, we got to take a quick break, because we have two hours of stream left, and, and we were supposed to take a break like 30 minutes to an hour ago. So it's break time. Get up and stretch, walk around, use the restroom, etc. You got to head to bed. No problem. Good night, hot shot. Thank you so much for hanging out. Sweet dreams. Get some good sleep, and I'll see you soon. Is that why they click like Zubats? Maybe. But good night, Hotshot. Take care. I'll see you. Uh, have a good rest of your weekend. I'll see you Monday. Echo location. They're scary as fuck. Yeah. The clickers sucked. Cool. Yeah. A nice relaxing Wii. Do the thing. I will be right back, folks. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you're enjoying the stream and enjoying my first playthrough of this. It's definitely different. Ugh. All right. I'll be back in five minutes. Don't go anywhere. We still got two hours to go. BRB.
All right, we're back. Thank you all for taking a break with me. <clears throat> and I hope you moved around and stuff. All right. Uh, thank you, Batch. Thank you, Cora. Thank you, Andu. Thank you, Nintendo Geek. Thank you all. Thank you, Shen. All right, we should be good for the remaining two hours of stream then. We'll see how this goes. But thank you all for hanging out. I hope uh, you're enjoying the stream. My makeup is super messed up, but I decided not to fix it because I couldn't care. <laughs> Ooh, all right, we're set. Thank you, Chicken Nugget. Thank you all. Thank you, Crazy Mo. All right, we're back in this. I guess we're leaving my flashlight on. Oh God. Oh, why do we have to do this? This is a bad idea, Abby. Oh God. Made the bullet count. God. Oh, thank you, Ruby. Yeah, breaks are good. Definitely take breaks. And before woman gets somebody killed. Woman not snowy. No, we're, we're good. I even turned off my flashlight. We gotta crawl over this shit. Ugh. That's gross. Infected, stop bullying, right? Okay, it's got to be close. Mime lover. Yeah, I'm at the beginning. I'm playing as Abby. Right now. A grill. Let's get some burgers on that shit. Oh, God. This seems like a brilliant idea. Stay crouched to sneak up on enemies, press triangle to grab them. I assume this is part of the tutorial and she's not gonna suddenly come back this way. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, have I played the first one? I did like three, I think roughly three years ago, two to three years ago at this point. Two bullets. Nice. Okay. Not only does Snowy get to be stealthy, she got loot. Hell yeah. I like me some loot. Now I'm just going to abuse the listen ability. I think I did that a lot when I was playing the first game too. Is there no loot in here? 
Isn't there usually like a medicine cabinet or some shit? Why would they put that there so I can't see? It's rude to just go through medicine cabinets. Yeah, that's true. Do you mind if I tell you a thing that might save you some grief? Yeah, what's up? What's up, Batch? Man, stealth kills take forever. From what you can tell in your playthrough, they don't care about the flashlight. At least they're not really sensitive to it. Oh, really? So I should leave the flashlight on? Yeah, but there's not just clickers in this game. Yeah, I'm on Abby. Yeah, we did. Anytime you're in the dark, flashlight's on. Infected don't care about the flashlight. Only non-infected do. Oh! Well, shit. I guess I'll leave this on. Stealth games taught me to actually be careful about my flashlight and shit. Is this a repeat of saying that sparkles... Of Sparkles saying villagers don't care about being charged into <laughs> only time will tell. <laughs> I don't know why I'm spamming square. <laughs> Habit. just pimped it? What are we talking about? Kept on yours on to test it? You, get, you were thinking the same as me. Yeah. <clears throat> Used to do the same thing, but Last of Us 1 actually tells you Infected can't see the flashlight. Hmm. They haven't told you in this game. Guess we gotta climb over this. I'm so bad with, like, just wanting to watch their patrols, you know? See how they move before I go over and do anything. Oh, shit. Don't come over here. Please? Oh. How creepy. Oh yeah, I 
forgot to turn it off, sorry. Yeah. God, there's so many. Oh my god. Hopefully there's more bullets in the snow. Be cool to find some more bullets in the snow. You store your bullets in the snow? One of them is facing this way, the other's facing that way. I feel like if we go out there, that one's going to see us. Oh, it turned away. Perfect. <laughs> Back up and shit. Before the other one comes back. So there's actually two more out there. I wonder if the infected notice other dead infected. They're like, oh, what happened here? Something happened here. Stealth, if it's at all possible, slow and steady. Yeah, that's how I play too. You all know I love stealth. I take my sweet time strategizing and watching people, watching enemies patrol. You know? So that one super far away, I, I don't think it's gonna come anywhere close, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Hard to tell. Oh, it's all the way out there. Might be okay. Oh god. This is a little far out. Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh shit. I'm going back over here. It might be easier to get this one on the left before we do the one on the right. Actually. Because the one on the right has a really long, weird patrol. But the one on the left here isn't as bad. my opinion, I think. Wonder if you can I wonder if you can get attacked while you're stealth killing. Part of me feels like you can. But I don't actually know. I guess we'll find out one day. I'm sure at some point Maybe. <laughs> you don't remember that move from the snow snowball tutorial? That's because those were against children, Diz. Please. Please let that be it. I don't see any more. Where's the road? <laughs> 
Footsteps. Horse tracks. Horse tracks. Where's the patrol? What's wrong with country roads? <clears throat> that was intense! <clears throat> Holy shit. That was fun though. Oh, look at the water. It looks so good. What the heck? Those would have been much more effective than the snowballs. Hey, those were children. We're back to Ellie. That's exciting. The water looks so good in this game. Come on. This way. Right behind you. Right behind you. Do you miss being with him? With Jesse? <laughs> no. We've been together for so long. Look, Jesse's great. I love his parents. They will always be family, but we were just on autopilot. Hey, how come we never talked about this stuff? I don't know. It didn't feel... You never really talked to me about Kat. Yeah, because... There isn't much to talk about. Yow. I just... I, I got the impression that you didn't really like her. It's daylight? Was it daylight for Abby? Yes. <laughs> I think the horse okay. tracks she saw were these two's horses. No, I think she's a talented artist. I've grown to like that tattoo of yours. That's so big of you. And I think she wasn't right for you. <laughs> Interesting. Shut up. Ellie has a tattoo. Hey. Ellie's tattoo is really cool. You can tie Shimmer up here. Do the infected not attack horses? Oh no. Abby was in a storm, or at least the beginning hey. of one, it seemed. Yeah. You want to see something spectacular? You're going to point at your face, aren't you? <laughs> Nothing is that spectacular. Oh, brother. Come on, stupid. Flashlight. Is there any loot? What state is this? Is this even a state map? Uh, something, something forest? Grand National Park. And Peak, I think? Maybe? Something National Forest. Oh, those are county lines. Oh. Now that it's established that Ellie is into girls, you have to ask, was that part of the controversy that Ellie's into girls? Why would that even be a controversy? Seeing it, it's kind of dumb seeing as it was established in the originals DLC that Ellie's into girls. Yeah. The Left Behind DLC was all about Ellie and the, the girl that she loved, who she lost to the infected. Not the leak specifically, but there were and are people who are shitting on The Last of Us 2 for that fact. Why? My God. What does that even matter? Like, why should it bother anybody? Whether or not Ellie is into women. Anyway. Can't really read the map. Maybe there's something in here. Gotta be some loot or something. Ooh. Loot. Bullets. I like that. Pays to loot. We got one bullet. How exciting. Everything's a controversy. Yeah, right. Who plays the DLC batch? No one. That's who. <clears throat> because it means they can't bring the fictional character who wouldn't be into them even if she went straight. Yeah. 
trying not to gain points or anything, but you were a few hours into the game before you even thought like, oh, I bet this annoyed people. Yeah. <clears throat> I just want to look for loot. Oh, that view, though. <gasps> Look at that view. Holy shit. I want to go there. Think of this view, huh? It's pretty nice. Yeah, this route has its perks. Where do we sign in? <laughs> Come on. For some reason, I get the feeling something's gonna happen to Dina, and it's gonna be really fucking sad. <laughs> I, I hope I'm wrong, but that's like the inkling that I'm getting, which sucks. Gotta take in this view, though. Look at it. <clears throat> Careful here, you missed one of the dialogue prompts. Oh, yeah? Okay. Who do you used to do this route with? Jesse? Eugene. Right. Ah, oh, Eugene. Eugene's in Animal Crossing. Man, he was funny. He's a koala. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Eugene the koala. <gasps> Every time you hear something like that, you just think of people in line at Subway being offended because the person Plus, in front of them is ordering a sub they don't like, right? Electronics and stuff. Doesn't matter. Just chill, you know? May we all make it to 73. No kidding. <clears throat> no kidding. Because some people can't play protagonists that don't think like them. It's why I only play God of War games. He has so many threesomes. <laughs> Diz, please. Sign us in. What was this place? Uh, it used to be a radio tower. What's this? Oil lamp? No, it's um. Hey, I'm gonna guess this bong was your jeans. Bong. <laughs> it's an oil lamp. That's mine. He gave it to me. <laughs> hey, do you have any on you, actually? <laughs> Shut oil up, Batch. No. Always had some on him. <laughs> it looks like an oil lamp. You know, Animal Crossing and shit. <laughs> Upgrade your weapons at a workbench. I remember that. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's an oil lamp. No, you know what? In Animal Crossing, there's an oil lamp. It looks just like it. Okay? Looks just like it. All right. It's easy. It's an oil lamp. Clip <laughs> incoming. Thanks, Batch. Oh, sweet. Read. Uh, 12-8. Dina, Eugene, all clear. 12-27. Dina, Eugene, found a wild horse stuck in the ice, got it out, taking it back to camp, skipping the next lookout. Ah. People loved Ellie, and she was suddenly going to be of age, and they are mad that they can't get with her. It's ridiculous. Politics be damned in games. It's always about bangability. I don't know. I love Ellie. And she's amazing. So. And why can't people just like see her for the amazing character she is instead of who she gets with? Because it doesn't matter who she gets with. You know. <sighs> if you bring home a bong and your dad's about to whoop your ass, you tell him it's an oil lamp. I don't think that'll work. It's an oil lamp. 124, Dina, Eugene, all clear. Uh, 28, Jesse Astrid, one clicker in the basement of 2358 Mountain View. Cleared it. Um, 229, Greg Bonnie, dead goat by Sunny Day's retirement. Found three runners inside, cleared them. Uh, 317, Dina, Eugene, one runner along the main road, cleared it. 330, Greg Bonnie, all clear. Snow's pretty rough, gonna camp here tonight. 419, Jesse William, all clear. Sweet. Yeah, it's an oil lamp. 
510, Dina Eugene. Kill three runners outside the suburbs. All else clear. 619, Dina Eugene found a dead deer just outside the tower. Looks chewed up, but no infected. 721, Dina Eugene. All clear. Bad rainstorm. River ahead flooded. Camping here tonight. Then backtracking in the morning. 827, Dina Eugene. All clear. I would be terrified camping out here with all these um, infected. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thanks, Batch, for the clip. <laughs> 721, bad rainstorm. Sure caught a lot of fishes, right? 94, uh, Jesse Dina saw footprints, followed them to a small encampment. Two adults, one child in need of medical attention. We'll be skipping the next lookout and, lookout and taking them straight to town. 1019, Tommy Joel, all clear. Nice. 1130, Greg Bonnie, all clear. 1228, Tommy Joel, two clickers by the gas station cleared them, otherwise clear. 116, Greg Bonnie, all clear. 23, Chad Willie, all clear. Huh. And there. All clear. So we added oil lamp. It's an oil lamp. 32, LED, not all clear. Cool. Come here. Town up ahead's our last stop. Take a look. Abandoned town, maybe? Weston's. There's the town. With the big tower thing? Yep, that's where the next lookout is. Is that a supermarket? Yeah, we'll pass that on our way into town. Ah, uh, there's a ski lodge. That's the one on Tommy and Joel's route. That's the one. Ski lodge. <laughs> Glad to hear that Chaz Willie is all clear. Damn it, Batch. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Snowy's the kind of person who doesn't realize why all the personal massagers in the catalogs have strangely phallic shapes. <laughs> Yeah, and do. I'm just saying. I was in like oil lamp mode because in Animal Crossing, there's an oil lamp, okay? They don't have bongs in Animal Crossing. Still in Animal Crossing mode. You know? Let's get back to the horses. We're probably going. What if we encounter Abby? Yo. Because I feel like we're going to encounter Abby. She probably followed us. You know? Just want to look for loot. Double check the loot in here. <laughs> the town with the big tower thing. Reminds you of the description of a certain someone. Really good with words, don't you know? Question. Were you wearing those same clothes yesterday? They're clean. No judgment. It's patrol, you know. Shine your flashlight on Dina's face. Look fancy. Still look nice. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, there she goes. She's like, stop blinding me. <laughs> That's cool. Huh. <clears throat> they don't have bombs in Animal Crossing. I'm dead. I'm just saying. Harv probably does. That's true. He might. If you look carefully, you can see some crazy guy on the tower yelling at some kid in a DeLorean. No, it's too funny. Right, we're going back down. Oh, boyfriend's listening to my stream out loud. I'm hearing a replay of myself. Let's double check in here. Doesn't hurt to double check. You hear it too? Double snowy time! Yeah, he's got it on speaker. Hey, Japan. <laughs> oh, Japan's the horse, not the dog. Shimmer and Japan. Cute. Can hear a double scream. <laughs> Come on. Come on. 
Iya, iya. I feel like we're gonna run into Abby or something. It's gonna be a weird altercation. I think we should go out like Eugene. From a stroke? No. From old age. Like, living a long life. You? No way. Come on. You're way too reckless. Oh, look who's talking. Well, you'll probably die from hypothermia from wearing canvas sneakers in the snow. I am wearing boots today. You know how you're gonna die? You let me guess. You're gonna kill me? This is so pretty. Did I ruin your punchline? I'm just like, just taking no. in the scenery. Maybe. Fuck you. It's so pretty. Sorry. Hey, should we check these houses out? Seems quiet, but we can if you want. I bet they still got supplies. Yeah. Come on, let's go check. So I guess this is like an optional area. Just another evacuated neighborhood. Infected almost never make it out this far. We usually catch them on the outer perimeter. Hmm. What are you doing tonight? Uh. I was thinking of inviting Joel to watch a movie. Oh. You guys good? Yeah. Yeah. What movie are you guys gonna watch? What's Joel into? Uh, Curtis and Viper 2. That's the one that's been on my radar for a while. Oh, wow. Well, we used to watch these cheesy 80s action movies. He's really into them. Oh, no. I actually really like them, too. What about you? What are you doing later? Some people were talking about sneaking out, going sweating. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah. You want to meet up after? Uh, okay. Meet Maybe out. I'll play guitar for you. Okay. Supplements let you learn new skills. What's Curtis and Viper too about. Okay, so two former commandos that go rogue to fight bad guys. And I think in this one, they go up against Russian spies or something. I'm more interested in this than I thought I would be. All right, so the young one, Viper, he's a trained ninja. And he's a complete badass. So how old is he in the first movie? Uh, 10. Wait, how many movies did they make of this? Uh, I think they made four? Jeez. Joel actually saw the last one in the theater. Isn't that crazy? Yes. Hmm. You think anybody out there is still making movies? If you take Based random pills, be. you learn new skills. How do you know? Based on real life. I mean, what if they're all just like us? Just surviving day to day. Well, I write new music, so someone had a camera. Wait, hold up. There are original Ellie songs? Why haven't you played any for me? Well, we haven't. I, I don't know. You can't go in this one. Can you play one for me tonight? Mm. I'll think about it. All the music. Guess we're going to see about another house around here. Hmm. Theaters, it's crazy even today. Yeah, right? Random pills can often lead to revelations. Linty, you're old and have p old people ears. You can't hear it or the PS4 and you couldn't understand Joel's mumbling. Wait, what? Do you need me to turn up the game a little? Linty? Is this a lethal weapon reference? Hey, Silver Player, how you doing? I don't know, actually. Never heard of the, the movie. Oh, you're talking about hearing Diz. Oh. Yeah, he had the speakers though. I guess it depends on if you have like really nice headphones too. Can't go up here? Okay. Oh, I made you think of that. Gotcha. Bullets. 
Always nice to find all the loot. Get all the bullets and ammo. Tesseractor. Ooh, I don't have this one. Isn't it one of those superhero cards you're all into? Oh yeah. Tesseractor. Real name unknown. 80 brains and 60 brawn. Affiliation Society of Champions. Appearing one day from out of the blue, no one knows where or when this mysterious transdimensional being came from. Their ability to move in and around four-dimensional space at will has turned the tide in many battles, though using this power leaves them as weak and vulnerable as a newborn. Claiming to have no name, they were bestowed the nickname Tesseractor by the Society of Champions. However, some suspect Tesseractor is keeping their true undiscovered identity a secret. Neutral. Collectible cards! Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, you couldn't hear the second snowy voice. Gotcha. Gotcha. Zoob, you got The Last of Us Part 1 for free with PS Plus and decide to never play a Naughty Dog game? Wait, why? How am I doing, Summer Player? I'm excellent. How are you? Diz, you watch started the Watchmen HBO series today. There's some scary ideas in that show with what's going on in the world today. Oh, really? I'll have to ask you about it. That could be it, Linty. You're watching on your old tablet. You can hide in bed from the ants. Yeah. 80 brains! Still a better movie than X-Men Origins Wolverine. It's pretty cool. Seems pretty neat. Pretty neat. Nothing else up here? All right. <laughs> You're upset because that card is not in mint condition. No, it's not. <clears throat> Resale value has to be in the toilet. I don't know if there's anybody trying to buy those cards right now. In this post-apocalyptic world. I'm going to see if there's anywhere else I can climb now. You know? I don't think there's anywhere else I can climb, actually. <laughs> Unless... Oh, snap! Nice. What's this? Dear Santa, I was a good boy this year. Can I please have a big dog? I want it to keep my daddy safe while okay. he goes hunting for food. It could also help protect our house from the monsters. It could also help keep me company when my daddy closes himself in the bedroom. Here's what she should look like. Can you also get me a gun? I think if I was stronger, my daddy would be happier. Thank you very, very much, Eric. That's actually really sad. Huh, you love the notes? Yeah. They definitely are interesting to find. <laughs> Collectors love these cards. They're firm, pliable, and thoroughly absorbent. <laughs> so you wonder if the internet's totally defunct in this world? I think it is. At least that's the assumption. Things like phones and the internet's not, the infrastructure's down. Do we know this infection's all around the world? Or just in the US and in ruins? Or is it the whole world? We don't really know. We don't really know. You already suck at navigating unfamiliar environments. There's too much pressure to navigate efficiently in these games. Oh, really? I can kind of understand what you mean. It's just not your cup of tea then, huh? As a result. That's okay. <coughs> oh. Okay, I didn't think that would just open out like this, but I guess that's what happened. Alrighty. Internet's down. That lamp's knocked over. Why even live? <laughs> the oil lamp. Yeah. Definitely the oil lamp. Hmm. 
That would be a cool show. If the premiere was that one country is living in a post-apocalypse, well, unknown to them, the rest of the world's normal. See, that's the thing. I feel like the rest of the world would find out sooner or later. You know? The world is so... It's so easy to know what's going on on the other side of the world. At this point, you know? <laughs> but... Who knows? Maybe with an apocalypse, all sort of communication kind of goes down. But wouldn't the world end up wondering? And they would try to come investigate? You know? I feel like that's something that might happen. That you gotta consider. Love that the snow prints don't disappear. Yeah! They're... it's realistic. You're in the game, walking in snow. That would be a cool sh- I already read that. Um, go play outside? No, I want to play games. Lockdown, I want to go outside, but you've got games. <laughs> they cut between apocalypse country and the rest of the world being normal. It would just be really weird. Having that. The people in the apocalypse wouldn't know. I still find it would be weird if the world didn't find out. I feel like it's pretty impossible for the world not to find out. Okay, that's not a climbable thing. Is that it? Is this it? Boat? Just climbing on everything. Truck. Boat. Hmm. All right, well, I guess maybe it's time to get back on our horses. I think I got everything from here. It feels like I got everything. Super Swag, you're now 12 hours into the game. Nice, nice. Taking my sweet time. So you're watching it. The way you could do that apocalypse show? The temperature dropped. I think you're right. <clears throat> Make it like a 10 episode series, but each episode takes place in the same day. So you're watching it unfold from the perspective of people in the country where it's happening. You like that idea? That would be kind of cool. Like a the day the earth stood still concept on a global scale? Yeah. Love how these zombie apocalyptic type games are always in the US. Like give me other countries that might have zombies. Yeah. That's why I found um, that one movie, Train to Busan, so compelling because it took place in South Korea. And it was about zombies on a train. Like, to me that was compelling because we always see zombie apocalypse stuff happening pretty much always in the U.S. We don't really get to see it happening in other places. You know? There's a timeline of all known events in the world. It does mention the infection spreads throughout Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. Oh, so it is pretty much all first world countries, I think, I would say. Um, that's pretty rough. Civilization goes kaput. It's hard. I always wanted to see The Walking Dead in other countries. Yeah, right? Wouldn't that be interesting? Train to Busan is on your list to watch in October. Wait, why October? Why are you waiting that long? <laughs> oh! Oh, it's your monthly, like, horror movie watching. Okay, I was like, why are you waiting till October? You can watch it now. <laughs> Get to see zombies in other countries, but also, like, Asian horror a lot. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I normally don't watch zombie movies in general, but I quite enjoyed Train to Busan. It was pretty compelling. Um... Especially because it was so story and emotion focused. And there was actually good character development. Which you don't really see in a lot of like American zombie movies. Oh, the premise of this is that the uh, Cordyceps started in South America. In that movie, does anyone ever stand up and yell, I'm sick of these motherfucking zombies on this motherfucking train. No. No, they don't. Wait, am I supposed to jump over this? Oh, there's blood. There's like fresh blood over there. 
Wait, am I not supposed to jump over this? Did I go the wrong way? Maybe we're not supposed to take our horses. She's not getting off her horse. Okay, I guess I guess we stay on the horse. <laughs> South Korea makes really good horror right now, by the way. Do they? And Thailand does too. Sweet. I don't normally watch. I don't normally watch uh, scary movies, though. What am I doing? It would be wild if there was a tiny safe bunker where a bunch of tech geniuses or survivalists are keeping a small corner of the internet alive and trying to find others. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. That's pretty much unheard of in like post-apocalyptic movies and stories, right? The idea is that all telecommunications are down, you know? That's always the, the premise. That's always the assumption. That's always the, you know, the outcome. So hearing about telecommuni telecommunications remaining up for the most part, like on a mass scale during a zombie apocalypse is uh, pretty novel, I think. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, clearly we weren't supposed to go this way. I think this is a dead end. <clears throat> if, there's any, if anyone gets a chance to watch the original Shudder, there's a Japanese horror movie you watched years ago. You liked it. The name escapes you. Oh, yeah, Cora. Is it actually horror or is it gore? You miss the days when horror was suspense instead of let's try to make viewers puke. Train to Busan has a few graphic bits, but it's not... I guess that's not the... Uh, the focus. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Believe it or not, I, f I feel like the story is the focus. Which is, you know... Surprise, surprise, unheard of. In a zombie movie. <coughs> oh, you gotta go to bed. Ah, good night, Nintendo Geek. Yeah, we're down to the final hour, so. Thank you for hanging out today. <coughs> Voice is dying. Thank you so much for being here. Have a good rest of your weekend. And I will see you soon. Oh, you remember, Cora? Yeah. Yeah, take care. Take care, Nintendo Geek. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, maybe it's not quite this way. But this is like the only other way to go. That's the way we were going. Unless that was the way we came from. I think... <laughs> oh, God, I just realized. That might have been the way we came from and I was trying to go backwards the whole time. Wow. Thank you all for being patient. I'm pretty sure I was going backwards the whole time. I feel like I was going backwards the whole time. Right? I mean, it see it seems like it. Or were we? No, maybe not. Oh, I wasn't going backwards. Okay, I thought I was. That was the only other explanation. Ah, uh, there was some sort of zombie movie on Netflix that's like ancient China or something. This prince is sent by his father to deal with a plague and its zombies. Oh, really? Was it good? Did you watch it? Boyfriend! Turn down the TV! He's got the TV really loud. Boyfriend! Boyfriend! Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna message him. Turn down your TV. <laughs> it's loud. 
Turn down your TV. It's loud. Boyfriend, why are you ignoring me? Oh, okay. He said he turned it down. Okay. I was. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, we're now at the beginning of the area. I just got to figure out where to go. I think it's called Kingdom. Oh, it's a TV series. Kind of want to check that out. You didn't watch the Simmer play? You're not much into horror. It looked cool. I'll have to uh, look into it. Still adore boyfriend. So cute. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's what uh, that's what Diz and I have always called each other. He calls me girlfriend, and I call him boyfriend. It's kind of our little pet nicknames for each other. You need to get some sleep. Sounds good. Take care, Andu. Thanks for hanging out. Right, I'm gonna try this again. Maybe we have to sprint. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Gallop jump. Here we go. Ah! Easy Finally did it. Oh, that's rough. How many do you think it would take to bring down a moose? More than one. Uh oh. Where the hell are they? Let's go find them. Oh god, here we go. R1 to quickly swap weapons. Nice. Oh gosh, we're going to fight a bunch. A bunch of uh, infected, probably. I hear some inside. How the fuck did they get in there? More importantly, how do we get in there? This is the supermarket. I see a bunch of different tracks. Ooh! Yeah, the moose! What do you think? Thanks so much for playing this. You enjoyed it so much, Andrew. Oh! One at a time. Sounds like a plan. Heck yeah! I'm glad you enjoyed it. Why kill the moose? I know. More blood. Ellie. Whoops. I think that's just the one. Yeah. <laughs> Ellie uses a knife for a stealth kill. It's down. At least we don't lose the knife. You all remember in the first? In the first in the first game you Let's lose see if we can your get knife. To the back of the supermarket. Good idea. Or at least your knife had durability if you stabbed it into a, an enemy. At least hopefully we don't have that here. Weapon durability. Yeah, the shivs, right? Remember that? Seems like they changed it. Locked. Open from the other side. Hello. From the other side. Sweet. Bullets. Ammo. Nice. Um... It's Eric's cousin! They killed Eric's cousin! No! <laughs> the time skip from The Last of Us 1 intro to before we met Ellie is 20 years, but when we meet Ellie in The Last of Us 1, she's 14. <laughs> yeah. And four years has passed, so I, I guess she's 18 now. Yeah, the shivs, right? Yeah. 
How the heck did they take down a moose? Those things are tanks. When you have a bunch of infected, I feel like it m must have been a bunch to be able to do that. I think that's what happened. Let's be thorough. Check everywhere before we head out. It's kind of my thing. Make sure I didn't miss any drawers or anything. Lockers. No? Okay. Uh, those were the makeshift shivs that broke easily. Isn't Wasn't that kind of like your only melee weapon? They're causing so much noise. Holy shit. Okay. Throw a thing and stab it in the neck. Strike stunned enemies to deal significant yeah. damage. Okay. Nice throw, by the way. Not Thanks. bad. The way we came in was barricaded. How'd that runner get in here? Yeah, that's a good question. What's the most infected you've ever taken down on patrol? It's gotta be the one I had with Joel a year or so ago. It was like, I don't know, a dozen? You? Cleared about 20 once. 20? Passing through. Fuck. That's a lot. Maybe we'll get you a new personal record today. I can't imagine having to be regularly killing zombies. But I feel like when, when this is your life and you're having to constantly fight to survive, that's kind of, it's almost like second nature to just stab a zombie in the face. You know? But I just can't imagine that right now. I just, it's a little scary. Why does this machine look familiar? Is this like a printer? Does anybody know what machine, what this machine is? For some reason, this is like an office. Right? Or a, oh, it's a mail printing. Oh, is this like a giant printer? We're like at a mail post postal what's it called? <laughs> mail place. Postal mail place. Post office. It's a laminator. Okay. That's what it was. Joel had breakable shivs when you played Ellie, you had her unbreakable stiletto. Oh. Maybe that's what it is. It's nice to have that. Okay. Not bad. What is she staring at? Oh. Yeah, it's barricaded. I guess we gotta climb up. Have we looked everywhere in here? Make sure we didn't miss any loot. Okay, cool. I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. Dina, this way. Dina goes and kills the other one. Teamwork makes the dream work. Hell yeah. I thought I was gonna have to get both. It's nice to know Dina's not useless. Nice. That other machine? Yeah, the, uh, the one that looks like a... It looked like a giant printer. But it was actually a laminator? Ammo for the win! Did I miss any loot on the other one? Let me see. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, hey Velvet! You can catch a stream! Noise! Welcome back! How you been? I 
and happy weekend. Oh god, please don't see me. Oh god. Oh Look no. Out! Okay. Shit. Ooh. Ooh, that was my bad for not going in first. Is that all of them? Yeah. Looks like I should have gone in first. We still gotta get the ones in the supermarket. Let's keep circling the building. There's gotta be a way in. Ooh. Oh, that was a brick. I could have, like, done something with this shit. <laughs> that was juicy. That's one of them postal mail places trucks, yeah. I should have gone in first and gotten them, but then I think they some, some of them would have still seen. Either way, I think. That's what it seems like. Oh, help me up there. I want to look around. Help you up where? Coming. Here? But I wanted to like right, loot. <laughs> Can I go back into loot? Um there's a hole in the roof over there. Here. Here? Here what? Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just wait for me. I'm not done looting. Why would we, like, stop looting? Maybe. Oh, furballs! Sorry, I had the alerts muted because we have so many cinematics. Happy eight months! Eight months sub, but two months in a row and forced to go. What do you mean forced to go? You mean four to go? Until a year? Yeah! Thank you so much, furball! Everybody get some hype in chat! If you're still here, and you can bring the hype. Thank you so much, furball. Sorry the alerts are muted. I had them muted because of, uh... Oh, wait, why am I keeping that? Because of, uh... So many cinematics and stuff. Was it just that one? Oh, here we go. Nothing? Why would they give you these drawers and put nothing in them? The hell? That's disappointing. It took you a bit to find your hype batch. No problem. No problem. All forever to go, you mean for a while? Thank you. I appreciate that. How you been? I just started The Last of Us 2 tonight. I'm still learning stuff. It's taken me a while. I take a long time strategizing and watching their routes to be stealthy. Also snowy. Blazes through the door to grab the first zombie she sees and stabs it. And then I ended up seeing all the others. Come on. It was pretty rough. Okay. What's that eerie noise? Look. See? Alright. Let's figure out how to get in there. Hmm. Guess we're going up there. <sighs> Maybe? Cause you aren't on easy mode? Noobs like you who cheese it get more loots. <laughs> Think muted alerts are okay or better for normal streams? Pause them and let them run when we go on break. Um, no cinematic interruptions or drowning out dialogue. Yeah, that's true. I've actually thought about scaling down the sounds on my alerts and making them instead of like songs and music to make it um, like just a short sound. But I don't know how people feel about that. Just to make it less intrusive to all the gameplay. You know? Under here. Good night, Sarah. Thanks for hanging out. Sweet dreams. 
Thank you for being awesome. Oh! Spamming square! Spamming square! Woo! Ellie, are you clean? Yeah. Just banged up. Oh, Please die damn. of old age and not because you get infected. I really don't want to have to shoot you in the face. <laughs> Maybe I should heal. Deal. Cool. Oh, we don't have any healing. Silly zombie. Oh, we might need this. Let's take it with us. <laughs> Gotta look around. She doesn't know about Ellie. Yeah, I mean, she asked, are you See clean? You roof? Maybe she doesn't know about Ellie being immune. Not sure. Let's look around. Oh, you can, like, stay crouched? Huh. Ma'am, I'm sorry to God for what I did. I wasn't going to hurt you. I didn't want anything from your store except for the drugs. Your husband came at me. What choice did I have? My little sister stopped feeling her feet. I needed the insulin. Everyone is hoarding the stuff. What choice did I have? I hope he survives. I'm sorry. Damn. Anything good back there? Actually, yeah. Hmm. That probably isn't something she shares or ever mentioned after the last game, yeah. Have we been in a spore infested place yet? No, not yet. Not like in the first game. None of those areas yet. I'm still at the beginning, so... Is it not this way? Oh, it was supposed to be a purge. I was like, wait, what? Permit? <laughs> but yeah. You're a great mod batch. You're the best. You're doing great. You're doing great. Oh god. Here we go. Not bad. This way. Just assumed I played the first game. Yeah, I did. And there I remember the spore infested areas in the first game. I'm in. No? None? Do we have enough okay. supplements yet? Oh, we have 24. Extra movement speed would be nice. Health kit speed. Increase health. 100% movement speed. Huh. So nice. Hmm. Okay. Um, you can whisper a mod as well in case of spoilers. Yeah. Whisper Batch or Korra. <clears throat> um, you thought you saw me play it? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Whoops. <laughs> Awkward. I'm in perpetual crouch mode. Okay. Let me see. 
Just because something is in one game, that doesn't necessarily mean it will be in the sequel. Just something to keep in mind when trying to ask questions. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I didn't know there would be spore-infested areas. Even though they were in the first game. Who knows what they change, you know? So. But yeah, definitely something good to remember. Nice. Hey, got some alcohol. A couple of rags. Here. You can make a health kit. Fix yourself up. Oh, perfect. <laughs> alcohol and dirty ass rags. Let's put that on our wound. Such a great idea. All right. <laughs> Nice. I see spores in there. Masks on. Got oh, it. here we go. Huh. Guess we're going in. Remember, I don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm. All these spores mean they've been here for a while. Keep your eyes peeled for older infected. Yep. Just want to sneak everywhere. I don't know. I think we're above it. Let's get to the ground floor. Huh, ingredients are found in pieces. Whole ingredients are needed to craft an item. That's definitely a change from the first game. Being able to find pieces of an ingredient that was like a third of alcohol that makes sense though mm. ah wedding vows i don't want to shoot you in the face <laughs> uh i don't know i'm just so i just want to crouch everywhere all the time and sneak around and shit i think that's it in here what the heck Unless I somehow missed. I feel like we're going to encounter our first clicker. You know? <laughs> the way you play this game, Ellie's thighs are going to be massive with all the crouching you do. Yeah, I crouch everywhere too. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Yo, Kristen. Left the real shit in the safe for you. Combo's the date my good boy got employee of the month. Don't fucking sell those or give them away. That's for your back, alright? Feel better, Mina. The date. Employee of the month. We gotta look for an employee of the month. Like plaque or some shit. Employee of the month. Oh, we're full on bullets? Damn it. Employee of the month. Here we go. My boy. Who's my boy? I don't know who that is. Oh, God. <laughs> Good boy combo. My good boy? Who's good boy? Mina's good boy? What the? Okay. Uh, the dog? Oh, I bet it's the dog. July 2013. July 2013. I think. Seven. Twenty. 
13. Yo, I did it! I did it! Yeah, let me solve it. Yeah, no worries. Let me solve it. No hard feelings. We have 32 supplements. Oh, we can craft something now. So we can either get... Oh, I think it's... Oh, it's a tree. You have to go in order. You can't just pick. Oh, okay. Increase movement speed while listening. Sounds good to me. Alright, so we open the branch for faster health kits. Ha! Huh. Interesting. I don't remember if that was how the health tree thing happened in the first game. Very cool. Very cool. Ha. Huh. Uh, Inkheart, you weren't trying to spoil something? I was very excited about the dog. <laughs> oh, it was by accident, yeah. Well, either way, no worries. I know you you're definitely don't intend to, though. Okay, I'm gonna stay crouched, because... You never know. That's it. The amount of times I open everything and there's no loot. The heck. I open so many drawers and there's no loot. Such loud lockers though. Why can't we have quiet lockers? Huh? Why can't we always- why can't we ever have quiet stuff? <laughs> you want to be playing this? Tuesday is so far away. I know! You want to put in a good dog's name for employee of the month at your office now? Aww. So cute. <coughs> Oh no. Of course. I was holding triangle the whole time. Oh my god. Oh, that's not good. Stealth blade clickers, or stealth kill clickers, with your switch blade. Sneak up and press triangle to grab them. Here we go. Keep it extra quiet. Oh, you gotta push left stick very lightly to move quietly. Oh god, of course we get introduced to clickers. I gotta figure out which one I want to go for first. I'm just gonna sit here and watch the walking pattern for a little bit. Of course we get the clickers. They're claiming Monday, Linty. Oh, I hope you get it soon. Can't wait to have nightmares about those! Right, Inkheart? It's pretty shitty. They look even worse in this game. The first game, I feel like... They were just overgrown humans with extra fungal faces and deformations. But they look pretty terrifying in this game. I guess it doesn't matter if I kill one when the other's looking, because they can't see. They can only hear, so... I'm going way too slow.
Didn't we totally just hit a can? She walked into a can. Dina, please. She kicked a fucking can. I don't think the clicker actually heard though. Speaking of cans, you see that clicker's can? <laughs> Badge, please. God damn. We're full on bottles? Those blind I motherfuckers bottle? make my skin crawl. Let's make sure the rest of the building's cleared out. And then get the fuck out of here. Yes, Speaking please. Speaking my language. Time to look and see if there's any loot. Hooey! I was wondering when they would introduce clickers, because there's no way they would have removed it compared to the first game. They were like some of the most terrifying enemies in the first game. I'm full on everything. Look at me hoarding bullets and shit. Stealth all the way, baby. It's pretty great. Ellie, found the door. Help me out. After I finish looting. Patience. Patience. There could be some medicine. Or rags. Some dirty rags I can pick up to patch my wounds with, you know. Pretty important. Gotta make sure. This is like a pharmacy area. Shouldn't there be a shitload of stuff? My gosh. Flu shots. You know what you what could help in dark areas like this? Oil lamps. Yeah, oil lamps. We're on the same page, Sparkles. Your husband's laughing at you because you're covering from the clickers. They, they are, you're cowering, not covering. I don't know why I read that as covering. Um, they're really terrifying though, Inkheart. Like, the noise they make and they're like jerking movements and like, ugh. This is the stuff of nightmares. From the knees. From the knees. Ellie's a badass in this game, but she was a badass when she was 14. She was! She was so kick-ass in the first game. Wasn't afraid of anything. I'll make you a present. I'll take a present. Okay, there's definitely one in the other room. Or the next room. Oh. There we go. We get in here and that's where we can get all the supplies. Medicine, supplements. Hell yeah. Anything else? Molotov. Here. Thanks. Molotov set fire in an area. That's right. We get in the first game you get a Molotov and that was like an instant kill on a group of clickers. It was like the best. Okay. Careful with that. I'm a pro. I'm a pro. We're not done. Molotov recipe. We can actually make another one maybe? Oh, we could. Or make another health kit. Health kit or Molotov? Huh. Part of me is like, I should do this. Oh, nice. Faster health kits. Let's learn that. Good stuff. I think I'm going to actually make a health kit. Alright, cool. Molotov. Oh 
god. Here we go. We got some numbers here. What do you think? Let's see. There's a clicker right there on the right. There's a couple runners over here. Oh. Okay. We can definitely go for this runner who's just here to the left first. But I want to make sure that the clicker doesn't come over. This way. One of them gets near here, and I gotta see who it is. Oh, there's one right here. Maybe that's who I was thinking of. Is anybody gonna see me if I get her though? I feel like I should wait till between the shelves. Maybe? Between the shelves might be a safer bet. But there's a clicker over there too. So there's two clickers at least. Oh, this is a rough area. <laughs> wow. Ah, clickers, to think that's what your TV remote will evolve into. Just going to repeat a funny name for this game. You heard another chat. Fungus Among Us. Yeah, that's accurate. Alright, we know that the one who's like moaning the loudest makes a circle back through the shelves here. So I think if we can just go from behind. Okay, we're going to need to actually hide over here. And then go around behind. Hopefully. But we can't let that clicker hear us. So. We can also throw a Molotov. But I'm just like. I'm the type that likes to save them. Ridiculously enough. Half an hour longer. Yeah, I wasn't even looking at the timer. I haven't seen the timer in a while. The non-clickers make you feel bad because they sound like they're just suffering. Yeah. They're like just moaning and suffering and it's pretty rough. There she comes. another one down. We still have a click. There's two clickers. There's at least a couple more runners. Oh, so much strategizing. I think the one, the little blip on the left, I think is a clicker. Let's double check. Yeah, it's a clicker. So the one on the, the one on the left is gonna be blind. We just gotta be quiet. So the one on the right here is kind of just circling that area, and then that one over there is a clicker. So we're gonna leave the two clickers till last and get this one over here. Oh, 
I should have gone. What I'm gonna do instead is just hide over here. With all the jerky movements, it's almost as if they're all in some imaginary rave. <laughs> Why wear a mask if she's immune? Oh, because there's uh, spores. The spores are pretty rough. You don't want to uh, breathe them in. Here we go, clicker time. There's one there and one to the left. So let me see this movement and see the best time to walk over there. Cause we gotta go hella slow. <sighs> You're talking about Ellie? Because it's just the way to do it. Don't question it. You couldn't make the whole stream because you had work today? You really appreciate me streaming. You're going to sleep now, though. Oh, no problem. Dark Reject, no worries. You never have to be there for the entire stream. Thank you for dropping in for any part of it. Have a good night. Have a good rest of your weekend. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Oh, okay. I guess that works. I didn't think that it would step that close to me. But here we are. Opportunity! All that's left is that last one. There's another one further in there, I think. But I think this room in general is being cleared. Pretty efficiently. Don't know if there's more loot. Let's double check the area. Maybe there's some loot. But yeah, this definitely gives me some vibes from the first game. I did a lot of this sort of stealth. You know. Pretty great. The stealth is in this game is so excellent. You know? Yeah, I'm not finding more loot. Okay, let's just go kill this last clicker. Meticulous. It made it super easy for me, Sparkles. Yeah, I just happened to be in it near enough to it. <laughs> oh. I actually don't mind the clickers if you don't attract their attention. I feel like the runners are more threatening because they can see you and then they run at you. The clickers, you just got to be quiet. You could literally sit right in front of it and it wouldn't even know that you're there, you know? Um... They, di they do hit a lot harder if you do end up aggroing them. But I feel like the runners are more of a threat. Has anybody else thought, wow, they kind of walk like chickens? <laughs> right? Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Did they walk out of that room? Oh, I thought I was clear. One of them walked out of that room. The fuck? <laughs> wow, 
Why did he walk out of that room? That just throws me off. I thought he was going to stay in that room. And he's still moving. Uh, nope. Whoo That was you nerve wracking. I'm impressed with us. Yeah. Man, the guys are not gonna believe our numbers. <sighs> to me, that was a bit nerve wracking. Okay. Let's go to the next lookout and take a fucking break. We earned it. Agreed. I concur. Cause that was pretty rough. So many in one spot. <laughs> Let's go see if there's any loot out here. I didn't expect that one to actually just walk out. It was in the other room the whole time. That kind of threw me off. That makes me wonder then if like they'll change their patterns after a certain things happen in the area. Which is a little nerve-wracking to think about, but that does add a bit of versatility to what we saw in the first game. Just in terms of like, you know, things just being more dynamic, unpredictable. We're so used to have that. Pre we're so used to having that predictability, you know. Part of you wants to know what was left on a shelf 25 years after the zombie apocalypse, right? So many things. Zombie apocalypse. Huh. Dust? There's probably a lot of dust, yeah, for sure. This kind of stuff stresses you out a ton. You don't mind watching others do it instead, Simmer, yeah? That's what I'm here for. Even though it's hella creepy. This is like the one zombie game I don't mind playing. Because I actually enjoy the stealth so much. Stealth and zombies. That's where it's at. Alright. Oh, here we go. That's where we gotta go, I think. Cool. There's a few things. Someone walking by. Okay, here's what Hold we're on. gonna do. You're just gonna hurl me up through that hole in the roof. <laughs> okay. Alright. Like someone walking by and going, I need stuff to survive. See something like prunes on the shelf and think, you know what? I'll take my chances starving and just leave it. Yeah. How does that make any sense, right? Oh gosh, we can just, can we just chuck her up there? Are we made out of muscles? I'm not Abby, you know. I guess I'm going to just throw her up there somehow. Where is she going? Wasn't I supposed to, like, throw her up there? Oh, what's this? Cable here. Ah. The ultimate yeet. Here we go. Love how Ellie says that line, right? Yeah. That should hold us. Ah, oh, we're gonna do it like a pulley. Ha. Huh. Get over. Get over. Fuck yeah. Okay, go first? that's good. Here I go. Storm now. Oh, 
Hopefully we never have to shoot zombies on a horse. I don't think Ellie is fully equipped for this. Her jacket doesn't look warm enough. It's pretty rough. This is storm-like, yeah. Doesn't bode well, I don't think. I think we're gonna run into Abby. Turn back. We won't make it. We're almost there. Oh, this isn't good. Dina! Oh, I know. My horse go. won't go faster. <gasps> we lost Dina! Dina. God damn it, Dina! 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 Oh god. Oh, this is not good. I thought we were following her tracks, but Dina, there's like no tracks. You? Ellie! Oh, thank god. Oh. Come on. This way. Jesus, Dina! I'm holding L1, but my horse won't gallop any faster. Get inside. Ooh. <laughs> Why do you leave me, girlfriend? I'll get the door. <laughs> Is it safe in here, though? You been here? Rode by it. Never came inside. All right, let's make sure it's clear. Here we go. Let's make sure it's clear. Like a person living in a home is much better for the home's physical state. Even though people have oils and stuff, you would think they would be bad for a house. Yeah. I also realized I didn't save in a while. Manual save. Let's just make another one. Ooh. Ugh. It's not just skin cells? Oh, isn't there some theory of how things get dust and such, even without humans around? It's soil, bits of dead bugs, bacteria, dust mites, all part of dust. Yeah. It's not just humans. Very good point. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna forever crouch. Because, you know, stealth is OPOP. -OP. Gotta look around. We're down to the final 15 minutes of stream. Damn. Oh, this game is so good, though. I'm enjoying this so much because it just reminds me so much of the first game. And it's just so well done so far. <gasps> Ooh. Plus, it's gorgeous. I like how I'm the only one crouching and Dina's like, what are you doing? I can't help it. Always got to be ready. You never know. The snow's melting off the horses. Oh, really? I didn't notice that. That's a cool little detail if, there, if that was happening. So much detail. Hey, Dr. Wing. Should probably man that desk in case anyone needs assistance. All the bugs left behind. Yeah, that's like the true tragedy. Been. Left behind and worn out and just really dusty, falling apart, aged. Shit. I gotta see what's back there. Huh. So we gotta find out some way to head back into here. Oh, break glass with bricks, bottles, bullets, or melee. Oh, we can break the window? <laughs> All right, that works. Okay, hopefully that was a good idea. has to be Eugene's. Are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> nobody else would tinker with this shit. 
I'm just over Why here. You hide it from me. Just over here crouching. Don't mind me. I feel like I'm just forever crouching in this game. I hope I'm not the only one. You're working your glutes for Dina. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta look nice. <laughs> oh. How goes Mushroom Zombies? It's definitely been really fun so far. I'm still near the beginning. I haven't really gotten that far, but I'm enjoying it. Rem reminds me a lot of the first game. I did the first game and the first game's DLC. Those were the days. Huh. Eugene Linden. Definitely Eugene's place. He was a firefly? Uh-oh. He served with Tommy. Huh. I had no idea. Yeah. They got into some real dark shit. Like what? He said he blew up a checkpoint at Denver QZ. Killed three soldiers. And two civilians. Jesus. He also told me that he and Tommy slow tortured some big Fedra general. I don't know. I, I don't buy Tommy doing that, though. He could do worse. What do you mean? Journal time. He and Joel did a lot to survive after the outbreak. Huh. Dina asked if I was going to go to the dance. I already said that. Uh, was Eugene in touch with other fireflies? Did he hear about me and Joel? No, he would have said something. And then she drew the giraffe. That was pretty cool. I feel like you've been playing this for quite a while and the actual story hasn't even set in. Yeah. Who knows what's going to happen. We're just kind of continuing a little bit of the what happened in the first game, you know? All the clickers and infected and everything. Dealing with them, you know. Ooh, CEO Spark trading card. Laurent Foucault? Foucault? I can't say that. Huh, real name. L Laurent Foucault. Foucault, I don't know how to say it. It's French, I think. I'm just butchering it. <laughs> The giraffe! Giraffe seems like an easter egg to that beautiful moment in the first game when Ellie saw giraffes for the first time. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that could be a reference. Brains 100, Brawn 20. Affiliation Spark. Born with a brilliant mind but hobbled by numerous physical ailments, Laurent spent his formative years in hospitals. Earning his MD, PhD at age 15, he developed a cure for his rare genetic disease, the patents for which made him a multimillionaire overnight. Within a few short years, he turned millions into billions, giving him the capital to build the sci-tech empire, Spark, and free reign to pursue knowledge and progress at any cost. Rumors circulate that Spark has developed methods to infuse newborns with su specific superpowers, but Foucault has denied these ridiculous claims. He's a villain! Huh. Pretty cool. It's Foku, maybe? Something like that? Kmart Lex Luthor? <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, the giraffe. Yeah, yeah. I actually didn't even make that connection until you, you both mentioned it. But that's true. Could be a reference to that. This looks like a, a toy shop section, kids section. Of some sort. Used to seem like it. Okay, looks like we got everything here. Let's head this way. <gasps> Whoa, is that the PlayStation 3? Yo! Uncharted 2! Jack and Daxter! Oh, that's so cool! What? We're playing games in a video game? 
They they play Uncharted 2 in this world. <laughs> See that? It's Uncharted 2, and that's Jack and Daxter. I don't know about the one that's underneath Uncharted 2. I can't really seem to look under it. That's cool. You think it's a bookstore? Kids area, maybe? Oh, maybe. Maybe. It's the old George Foreman PS3, yeah. <laughs> Is that the good PS3? Oh, goodness. It's so dusty. Oh, what a waste. That's cool, though. Uncharted 2 and Jack and Daxter in there. Pretty sweet. Do not reshelve materials. Oh, all the detail in this game, though. It's really cool to see, you know? I guess this would have started at the age when the PS3 was still a thing. Which makes sense, because the first game came out on the PS3 originally, and they tried to make it, you know, present day, right? So it makes sense that the apocalypse started when the PS3 was big. That's why you don't see PS4s instead. That makes so much sense. It's pretty cool. Oh my god. It's Tommy and Eugene. What? <laughs> Baby's here. Tommy and Eugene. Lights, heaters. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. That's cool. That's cool. Reshell, that must be a library, yeah. Yeah, PS4 was the remaster, so it came out during the PS3. 2013. So it makes sense. Like, it, it meant to happen at the age when the PS3 was still kind of big. And it's cool they kept that detail and didn't try to put in PS4s, because it wouldn't have made sense for them to put in a PS4. You know? Eugene, I'm begging you to come home. The Fireflies want to save the world. I say let them. Let them go after the military. Like a drone of fireflies. The politicians. Harsh. Let them develop a vaccine to save mankind. Maybe one day we'll live to see the fruits of their fantasies. Until then, I have to put our daughter first. The fireflies will be fine without you. Your daughter won't. She keeps asking me when you're coming home. I can't lie to her anymore. I miss you, but I don't know how much more of this I can take. Come home, please. We love you, Claire. Aww. It's his family. That he basically abandoned, apparently. Huh. So does that make it approximately the year 2037? Um, yeah, so 2013 was when the game came out. 20 years ended up passing, so it was 2020, 2033, and then four years later. Yeah, 2037. Yep. It would be 2037, roughly. Or thereabouts, anyway. We have no way of really knowing unless we saw the date somewhere. So. Hey, found the generator. Oh, I want a hint. It's pointing at the generator. Oh, yeah, I just want to look around. Game, please. Oh, this is cool. That's pretty oh, cool. That's better. Oh wow. Impressive workbench. I think that's a workbench. Oh nice. You could mod your gun with this gear. Let's go. Oh, this is so cool. Let's go. Okay, so we can upgrade now. Parts and supplements are scarce, so use resources wisely. Short range handgun, high fire rate, moderate accuracy. And then we have the bolt action rifle. High damage and slow fire rate. I feel like we should do the pistol. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Or fungi broke time and it's still 2013 and they're stuck in a single second that never ends, yet they still all age. <laughs> Whoa! Look how fast Ellie moves with those guns. Yeah, she does move pretty fast. <laughs> She's like, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> 
Not sure if you would take this universe or the 2020 we've had this year. Right? Ink heart. So true. I just... It's rough. Okay, I'm going to upgrade the handgun. Inspect. Oh, I guess we're just looking at it. All right. Um, upgrades. So we have fire rate. Right now we have 70 uh, gears or whatever they're called. Scraps. Fire rate costs 40 scraps. Replace the hammer spring to increase fire rate. So it fires even faster. Stability. Replace pistol grip to decrease weapon sway. That's 50 parts. Recoil is to attach a compensator to reduce weapon recoil. 25% accurate increase minus 35% recoil. Or capacity. Extended magazine to hold more rounds. Oh, if only I had 10 more pieces, I could do capacity and recoil. Shit. If only I had 10 more pieces. Whoosh. What's the whoosh for? Did a... Did a did a, a reference go over my head? You would take zero zombies for 500. <laughs> zero zombies, please. All right, I'm going to do... I don't know. Recoil? Kind of also want stability. Hmm. Well, let's let's actually just do capacity, extra bullets. Let's go. Hey, trophy hype! Not bad. The animation for these upgrades looks so good. Yeah, this will work. Sweet. Good job with that. We'll save the rest. Not bad. Oh, hello. Oh. Ellie, look at the floor. There's more stuff down there. You see a way down? Uh, not here. Hmm. Yeah, I only got a minute left to stream. We gotta wrap up soon. I should probably, like, stop. <laughs> oh, let's see. Where are we at? We got a pretty good start, though. I even wonder. I wonder if the game. I wonder if the game. Um, has finished downloading. <laughs> Ooh, just notice my playtime. You mean the uptime of my stream? Yeah, I did a lot of Animal Crossing earlier. We started this game roughly around the twelve-hour mark, I think. It would have been earlier, but I didn't realize the game wasn't fully downloaded. <laughs> But also because, uh, so I, I, what I did was on, I think Thursday night, I think it was, I bought the game, I got the digital deluxe edition, and I downloaded all the stuff, like I started the downloads, and then I put my PS4 to sleep. And usually it downloads fine, but I didn't realize, and I didn't check this morning before the streamathon, I didn't check to see if the download fully finished, which I should have done. So when we were done with Animal Crossing after like 11 hours of Animal Crossing, I switched over to my PS4 and found out the, the download never finished because the PS4 had a system update that interrupted it at some point when it was downloading. So only 20 out of the like 80 gigs was downloaded. So we were sitting there for like almost an hour, maybe more like 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes or something, just waiting for it to download some more before I started the game. So that's what, that's what we did today, but yeah. The stream's gonna end and there's no stream tomorrow. I know, but this is so good. I think that's a good stopping point. I saved here. So, I'm gonna save again. Cause reasons. Okay. Wish we would have had more time. Yeah, we'll definitely do more next week. Probably on Tuesday or Wednesday. I haven't decided. I might do Tuesday. I think I'm gonna do Animal Crossing Monday. This game on Tuesday, Assassin's Creed Syndicate Wednesday, or no, this game on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then Assassin's Creed Syndicate on Friday, and then more Animal Crossing on Saturday next week, maybe? 
maybe or more of the last of us next saturday maybe i'll do animal crossing monday and tuesday and do this game again on wednesday just because a lot of stuff happens in animal crossing during the week rather than on saturdays so i think that's what i'm gonna do uh monday and tuesday or Animal Crossing. Wednesday is going to be this game. Thursday I'll be off. Friday I'm going to do Assassin's Creed Syndicate because I'm still working on that. And then Saturday we will be more of The Last of Us. I think that's pretty good. More or less. Provided you can pull yourself away from Animal Crossing. Yeah, I think we got a good... I got a good idea for the uh, stuff. Alright. We're going to wrap things up here. <clears> hmm. <throat> What if COVID-19 is the onset to weaken our immune systems and cordyceps will be available to we'll be able to infect us? No thanks. Oh my goodness, no thanks. Oh my my controller battery's gonna die. It doesn't last that long anymore. Okay, where are we at on the download? Hold on. Where's the download? Oh <laughs> it never finished downloading! Oh, no, chances are, actually, chances are, um, we made it through, we didn't actually reach where that, like, break happens. I think that's what happened. We didn't, we didn't make it to where the break was. I think that's what happened. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, you can't play that, like, long bar section of the game until it fully finishes downloading. Correct? That's what I think is usually the case for PS4 games. I want to say... They had that section that you can start playing, you know, and load the game up, but then the second, like, bigger part, you have to download the whole thing. Right? Congratulations on reaching zero! Or O, oh, is that right, Nate? Thank you. Thanks for hanging out, by the way, with Ink Heart as well. You stayed away, Cora. You did! You made it to the end. Chicken Nugget, isn't it like 8 a.m. for you? Why didn't you go to sleep? <laughs> what? Thanks for staying up with us, but please get some sleep. Holy crap. Here you thought it's going to be done before four hours? Yeah. You don't think I hit the brakes since I spent a long time walking into trees? That was very important. Oh, look. The game finally finished. We, we installed the game. Oh, that's exciting. It's fully installed now, folks. Thank goodness. I want to look at the art. I wonder if this is going to spoil it, though. Maybe we shouldn't look at the art. The first page is probably not going to be... The first page is probably not going to be... Spoilers, I hope. <laughs> oh, Nate! Thanks for the subscription! I guess I can unmute alerts now. Thank you for spinning your Prime sub here. You would guess art has spoilers? It says press X to enter. Maybe we shouldn't enter. You wanna look at it till later? Okay. How do I oh I have to close it, I think. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nate, for spinning your prime sub here. I really appreciate that. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Snow Army. You get access to um thirty-eight super cute snowy emotes to use all over Twitch. You also get access to our subs only Discord, which Ink Heart I think is a part of as well. And you can join us for Animal Crossing shenanigans. We have an Animal Crossing channel as well. So yeah, thank you, Nate. Thank you. Yeah, wait on the art. It's always tempted to look at it. It's so pretty. All right, it's time we can finally play it. It's 7 a.m., but you have to wake up at 8.30 anyway. It was too fun of a stream. Oh, Chicken Nugget! Are you gonna be okay? I hope you're gonna be okay. Hmm. Correct, for example, where it's cut, it's like the first five hours of the game. After that, it's not the... Sixth hour or seventh hour, etc. Yeah. You would have to get the whole second section. Huh. Made it to the end of the, the subathon, Phil. Gotta get some sleep. Yeah, good night, Phil. Seriously, thanks for staying up. Oh my goodness. We had so much fun today. We had so much fun today. Guess I'm gonna leave that there. All right. Switch to this screen. Oh, 15 hours is done, everybody. We've been live for 15 hours. And 10 minutes. Yeah, it's sleepy time. All right. But seriously, thank you all so much for the tremendous support today. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. We had like 11 hours of Animal Crossing and 4 hours roughly, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was 4 hours. 
maybe like three to four hours of The Last of Us Part 2. So that was hella awesome. Thank you for the amazing support, those of you that stuck around till the end here. I know it's super late for a lot of you. I normally never stream this late, you know, so it's nice to see people stay up with us. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you had a lot of fun because I did. And thank you for experiencing the start of The Last of Us Part 2 with us. I'm excited to do more next week. So I mentioned the week's schedule uh, briefly. Um, of course, I'll post it on social media and on Discord. But Monday and Tuesday are going to be Animal Crossing. Wednesday is The Last of Us Part 2. More of that. So that gives you all a bunch of time to get ahead of me in the game so you can come to the stream since I'm still near the beginning. But it gives you like all of the weekend, the rest of the weekend, and Monday and Tuesday to play if you're playing this game to get ahead. Um, and then Thursday I'm off. And then Friday I'm going to do more Assassin's Creed Syndicate because I'm still working on that game. I'm starting to sweat. I'm starting to sweat. My glasses are fogging up. Um, and then um, Saturday is going to be more of The Last of Us Part 2. That's the plan. So yeah, you had a great time watching the stream, Inkart. You haven't laughed as much in so long. I'm glad. I'm so happy to make people laugh. It makes me happy. Good night, Chicken Nugget. Thank you, Cora. You're amazing. I'm so glad you enjoyed yourselves. Shen, thank you. You are wonderful. You're fantastic. Thank you for that tremendous support, especially with those biddies. Oh my god, that was amazing. Um, Batch, thank you for hanging out. I don't know if you already ducked out. Simmer Player, thanks for being here. Linty. Um, you're all wonderful. You're happy you minor spoiled yourself just so you can meet man and woman with me? Well, the game should arrive next week for you, right? Monday? So that gives you all of Monday and all of Tuesday. I know you got to work, but, you know, it gives you some time to get ahead of me before I continue this on Wednesday of next week. So at least that's the plan. Matterade, good night. Lots of love, everybody. Um, I, I'll be back on Monday. No stream Sunday. I usually am off on Sundays. Um, but yeah. Thanks for the tremendous support. If you got five minutes to spare, I know it's super late. Go ahead and duck out if you need to. But if you do have five minutes to spare, stick around for the ads. I'm going to play them during the ending screen. Um, but yeah, this was awesome. I had a lot of fun. I'm going to go work on passing out now. <laughs> but I love you all. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending time with me in any capacity, whether you were here for a few minutes, a few hours, or since the beginning. Um, but I'm excited to continue more of the... Uh, chill vibes and snow army awesomeness next week all right everybody go to sleep please get some sleep if you're supposed to please sleep all right i'll see you all um next week be safe be kind have a good rest of your weekend and i'll see you soon have a, have a good night everybody boy